Yep. Alrighty. I'm doing just one more thing and we will be set up to uh, get this started. <coughs> yeah, I think I got everything set up. Got some water. Got some phone. Alrighty. Transition over. It's, I'm like, anyways, as if I've been talking. How's it going everyone? It's Kitsune if you are again here tonight playing, um, the con I guess the continuation of Raymond 2. Uh, I had some ideas of what to play, but then I, it's, it's just gotten too late and I'm like, you know what? I still need to get, <laughs> I still need to get a few streams in and, uh, I'm, I'm just slowly, I'm slowly falling behind. So I'm just gonna go right into a game that I know. <laughs> A game that I know, a game that I'm pretty good at, blah 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 blah. And yeah, I think that's I, I think that's, I think that's all we need to know. Um, I will say if if you haven't been here on the previous stream when I did Raymond 2, this is a game that I played before when I was younger. So uh, it was, this was before I even had a GameCube. Um, I played this to death. I'm not sure if I ever 100%ed it. There was always like this one fairy that just seemed like it was impossible to get, cause uh. There's a spoiler there, but yeah, it seems like it's impossible to get. So you always have like 999. But my point is, I absolutely freaking love this game. Um, but yes, I see. Uh, what was it? I see Artane has come in. So with that being said, hello Artane, how are you doing today? How am I doing? My arm is doing so much freaking better. It's not even funny. So I think I think I'm getting back on the track of normalcy. Uh, college has started. Again, uh, so this first... Oh, wait, hold on. So, meanwhile, the pirate's prison ship slaves now on board is 22,730. And yes, throughout this story, the <laughs> the amount of prisoners do actually uh, change, which is funny. Now, yeah, now we're going into, was it, Ra Razorbeard's cabin? <laughs> I think this is like a lackey that's just, I guess, like a messenger lackey for this guy, this captain guy. Yeah, so he's he's made it to the swamp as in Raymond. Captain's like, what? You incompetent imbecile! Send the warship and destroy him. He mustn't get his grubby hands on the four masts. Yeah, see right there. So then it goes to 999. But it's like you can never actually like get all. It's so it's so freaking weird because like there's something that says, uh, what was it? There there's a little like fairy indicator. You can check it and see how many fairies you have left, and when you get like all the way to like the last one left, it says something like, "You like you you can do it, you can find it." And I'm like, "How do you find it?" Anyways, is the cam are you closer? Or is it just me? It's probably the cam is closer. Uh, I've been messing with it for a little bit, and not only that, I'm actually closer. So usually, I look at this. Um, yeah, see even that. So I guess I'm closer too. 
I was gonna say I usually look at this monitor when I'm playing a game. However, the game is now here, so I'm I'm fo I'm pushing I'm looking over here. So I guess it's a little bit of both. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Other than that, um, college has started. The first week is just getting all the you know preliminary stuff out of the way. The the little test of like how are you doing so far. Uh, sign this, watch that. So I'm not really gonna do a um, study stream yet. That's gonna be next week though for sure. Oh, I forgot I got hurt. Oh, looks nicer though. <laughs> well, thank you, I guess. Yeah. Ouch. Ah, oh, I forgot about how this camera works. Am I missing something over there? Cause that's what I was looking at. No, I don't see anything. Oh, good luck with college. Thank you, yes! Good luck with college. I think we will do absolutely fine with college and then with us having those little study streams. Chilling out, watching watching YouTube, listening to, to some chillax music while doing homework. I think we're gonna do just fine. And yes, the resolution is absolutely beautiful. And nothing is like, tearing yet. Like, <laughs> no tears, so it looks like, you know, the world is coming apart at the seams. Which is... Gr I'm grateful. <laughs> so what was it? I think this is the continuation of the marsh area. So the previous area we were at, marsh-wise, there was like this little Sam the Snake dude that we freed. We used his little, um, scarf or something to... I don't know what the word, surf? <laughs> to surf through the Everglades. Now we're just running through it. I'm kind of unsure why we're here, actually. But, we're here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Go! I know you can do it, Rayman! I know I can do it, too! I just messed up. Yeah, how you doing, Artane? I don't know if you answered that or not. It doesn't look like you answered it yet. Yeah, I'll also be back on Discord, um, in the following day or so. Nope. Is it right here? Yes. Oh, I just broke it! Nice! I don't really know what like much to say on here, so like you know, sometimes sometimes I, I'm I'm good with just talking a lot. Other times I'm good with commentary, and I don't know. Right now I'm just like I just enjoy playing this game. <laughs> if you have any questions about maybe I don't know, maybe the story or maybe how to play it or whatever, just let me know. But for right now, I'm just enjoying the chill of of, of playing this game. It's like, it's like Crash Bandicoot almost, just not as wanky with the camera. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch! <laughs> He's making it seem like it was really, it was really difficult to beat that robot, but honestly the, was it the other purple one was harder? Because the purple one had like, a little bit of a... What's the word I'm looking for? Like a delay when you hit him, as opposed to this thing I could just continuously hit it and it couldn't it couldn't hit me back. <laughs> Internet is slowly dying. Damn Shit. You're saying internet is slowly dying, that's probably why you haven't been able to answer my question yet. God damn it. Oh my god. Cat, I fed you. We had fun. We had a run. We're not. We're not talking. No. Nope. Yeah, it's like crash, but less fast-paced. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about this dude. Oh god, I forgot about him. I forgot about this guy. Oh my god, he doesn't stop. I totally forgot about him. He comes after your ass, and you won't stop coming after your ass. Ouch.
I remember when I was younger, I was so fucking scared of that thing, because, like, you can't hurt him. I think you can hurt him if you, like, hit him with something in particular, but it's not on this level. But, like, yeah, he's, he's, for me, indestructible. Oh, it's him. Um, but, yeah, he's indestructible. He'll literally hunt you down as long as you keep having, um, as long as, as long as you're, I want to say, vulnerable to attacks. Oh yeah, the only way you can kill him is if you... Nope. The only way you can kill him is if you trick him to falling off the edge to, you know, the endless void below. Awesome, I got all the fairy things. Get down! I'm not in the mood to do this. Get down! Get the fuck down! Question? Get! Get! Down! Let's see if I can trick her with water again. Shoo! Shoo! Get there. Get! Get! <laughs> nah, I can't trick her. Sometimes I can. She's like, oh god, the water's gonna hit me. Now she's like, nah, nah, ain't gonna hit me. Okay, electronics over here. Yeah, question is, how are you doing? What's what's going on with you? Bonus stage. This pretty little fairy has gifts for Raymond. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Okay. So this is like a little mini game thing where if you do well, yeah, you get some good stuff from the fairy. I totally forget what you get. But the point is, if I'm not mistaken, you literally have to spam A and B. Like, no, yeah, you have to spam A and B. Oh, God. <sighs> I remember this, and I fucking hated it. Remember when I said about Sonic Shuffle when you have to, like, um... Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't go until you hit a button. Okay. But what I said about Sonic Shuffle where with that crocodile... Or alligator. That alligator mini game where you're supposed to get the get the fuck off, get the get off. <sighs> where you are supposed? Did she mess up my camera? No. Where you're supposed to spam a certain button so you can open up the the alligator's mouth. This is the same exact thing. Okay, hold on. Let's 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 see how I'm gonna get ready to do this. A, B, go! Come on! I can do this! I shouldn't have picked- well- I'm glad I picked this game when I did, because I don't think I would have been able to do this with a super hurt arm. Which I guess this means my arm is definitely improved. Yeah! Fuck you! Awesome! Ouch! <laughs> All right, what I win? Okay, life, good. Do I get anything else? Money, glory, magic. Oh, I had to no. No, the Isle of Doors, I guess. I don't know. Uh, right, I completely forgot you asked that. Actually, usually doing fine, but I'm a bit annoyed. Free time's almost over for me. Three fourths through summer. I hate the heat, but school sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like right now, right, right now, you and I are, are able to complain about how 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 uh, was it the heat sucks. For me, school's already started, and I'm like, no. For you, you're like, <laughs> I don't want it to end. All right. So, di so did you guys figure it, figure it out? Are you the real king? I'm trying to think of voices for this. Uh, we're a little more organized now. <laughs> yeah. So now they learn to share the the crown, so they're all the king. Uh, for for a cer certain amount of time, so you're now in the council of was the council chamber of the chamber of the teenies. From here, we can let you into other worlds. The trip will demand lots of energy, which I think means you have to get a whole bunch of fairies. But I see that oh lums whatever. But I see that you have gathered plenty of lums. Prepare yourself to discover a new world. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm dang I'm, I'm dang near 100 percenting this this game honestly. When we get near the end, I'll probably just change this to 100% run. Right now, it's just finish the game. <laughs> but if I 100% it dur during my journey, then sure, fine, whatever. <laughs> so go on, go in. I know about you. <laughs> I 
Yeah, so now we've entered a new area. We're out of the marsh land and we're into Pirate Beach? Pirate Bay? Something like that? By the way, that little crab is a pain in the butt. I think you can hit him just if you can hit him he'll like he'll he'll bounce back and forth like he'll change he'll shift his his direction or Nat, he's still a pain in the butt. No. Alrighty. I really can't wait to um actually start playing Rayman 3 eventually. Never played it and my god, I've wanted to play it for so many years. If you, just, if you just climb, that'd make me so happy. Thank you. I played it like last year. Did you finish it? Did you like get halfway through? Did you? Oh, okay. We're going. We're continuing the story. If we go this way, let's go down in the water. I thought going down the water was how we progressed, but I was wrong. Okay, hold on. I can't see. Okay, let's go get this smiley fairy. Hmm, what's down here? We got some water air lums. We got some yellow lums. <gasps> oh, it's this thing. And I think I'm hearing a cage. Or not. I guess not. Uh, no, it here is. Okay. Got it. I'm so awesome. Okay. <laughs> We're also we also already got half the lums already for this level. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's interesting, partially though. I didn't care enough to finish with the crap camera. My platformer speed running, not follow the rules. Yeah, and even like you're saying, yeah, the, it's the, always the camera. It's always the camera. Like the story is good. It's it's actually it's actually like different, you know. The story is good. The um, the gameplay is good. The characters are pretty fun. Yeah, the camera man. Always gets you, but if you play it enough times, you kind of stop caring. Yeah, here it is. There you go. Yeah. So if you hit the if you hit the crab, you can actually change its direction. But if you touch it, if I'm mistaken, it hurts you. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, he's throwing bombs at me. I could be wrong about this. Yeah, I'm totally fucking wrong about this. That just means it's this. How do I? There we go. Guess I'm about to kick this guy's patuki. <laughs> eh, so you can just do this. Get the fuck away from me. He's gonna show up right in front of me. Nope. Bam. I don't know what's in here. Ah! I still don't know what's in here. <laughs> so here's a magic sphere. To grab it, stand in it and grab it if you want air. Oh, okay. So this little sphere is the thing that we have to put on those... Um... I can't see. If you could just fucking asshole. Um, yeah, that, l that little orange and that little blue pyramid thing that they have out here. We're supposed to put this blue sphere on the blue pyramid. I mean, yeah, blue pyramid. Sure, that works too. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. There you go. Okay. That's a long way. Now we do the short way. We get the orange one. We go through. We're gonna be happy. We're gonna have children. I don't know. We're gonna make Raymond grow limbs. So I don't really care at this point. Nice. It's music, man. 
freaking love this music. Like they just make it super upbeat. <laughs> they make it super upbeat, making it sound like you're about to do something completely awesome, which is, of course, you're 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 opening the door to another world, but it's still completely. <laughs> It still makes it completely, uh, I want to say, more optimistic than, than it should be. I'm not saying it. Oh, no. Already? <laughs> Already? I think the area after this is going to be like a slide or something. Grow a limb. Well, you said limbs. <laughs> but still. Of course, though. Of course. Yeah, sure. I don't think of those type of things as a limb, but sure, yes. If anything, it'd be grow, grow another appendage. But yes, this is a sliding thing. Man, let me tell you, when I first played this, or play this the first, you know, several years of my life. It still kind of is, I guess. I was going to say, it was so difficult to get all the lums here. Like, the only way you can get them is if you purposely kill yourself. There you go. And do it again. But man. Kind of like what happens with Celeste, the, like Celeste B-sides for me, where it's like, each new step you take, you, you die. <laughs> You're like, oh, I just got up to this platform. Dies. Okay, well, maybe it won't be so bad this time. <laughs> Guess to the third platform. Dies. I forgot how to do a tight turn. But I somehow did it, so I'm not complaining. Fuck! Wait, that's even worse. Freak. one is up here? I hope. Maybe? Yep, there's the last one. I forgot about Axel. All the purple lums and shoot this Ow! It's just a slagtite. Now he's gonna die. Oh god. Oh, right. Uh, push him back. So, yeah, we get him to the stalactite and then we hit it on his head. Yes. Ah, yes, the good old. <laughs> Wait, already dead? Damn, I thought it would be like at least three times. You know, like the usual hit him three times, they die? Oh, man. <laughs> he said the, one of the fastest uh, times I ever fucking killed that thing. And I haven't played this in a long time. Damn. This is the best comeback I've ever friggin' done in a game. Besides Sonic Riders. There we go. This whole level now is 100%. Two. Oh, is this the first mask? I think it is. It's the first mask. They make it like so, so intense, so thrilling. You're like, oh, he's making it. And I don't know, his fucking uh, uh, good energy, his chi resonates with whatever the heck is in that totem pole. The wackiest one, but the best. Actually, I th yeah, I th actually, I think the wackiest one's the third one. Yeah, now I think we're transported to like a another dimension. Or am I thinking about the fourth mask? One of these masks. You, no, okay, yeah. Each mask you get transported to this 
random friggin' dimension or area. With this fucking weirdo. So welcome, I am Polocus, the spirit of the world. I see that you have found the first of my four masks. For now, I am far away and can only speak in dreams. But if you bring me the last three masks, I will awaken. Dude's like the freakiest uh, 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 side character. And help you to fight the pirates. Twenty years later, and this game is still captivating to me. And does this weird finger magic and <laughs> creates a galaxy to teleport me. <laughs> they were on some funky shit while making this game. Be strong. Our world's destiny is in your hands. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a crazy ass game. There you go. And help you fight the pirates by slapping them all. With with his okay, here we go. Oh shit! Fuck! Hurry! By slapping them all, I was gonna say, slapping them or at least, what was it, choke holding them with those long ass arms so you could just like grab them and just choke hold three of them at once. What do I get? Nothing? I feel duped! Again! <laughs> Jesus. Oh, or unless I'm getting more health, maybe. That actually could be what's going on. <sighs> God. Okay, the Minear Hills. If I'm not mistaken, I know I keep saying that, but I'm like, I could I could just be mistaken one of these times. But if I'm not mistaken, this is where um, we get the, our first, like, run? Yeah, our first little mini rocket run. Walking shell run, there you go, walking shell run. <laughs> I've heard that it might be possible to tame it. I'm like, alright. Thanks for the tip! No problem. Thanks for the tip, but stop, stop whispering in my ear. It's fucking weird. Yeah, so what you're supposed to do is just run around until it finally gets tired. Well, my fucking bad. Don't let it explode. <laughs> Which I let it do. My bad, yo. Does that open this? It does. I'm just I am just enjoying playing this game right now like <laughs> all these all these little uh these all these little things that you got to do to get all the lums it's been so many fucking years and I still remember the little tips and tricks it's so fucking cool <laughs> just be like is, it, is this how you do it is it over here is this how is this what opens it up oh crap don't don't break down buddy there he goes B to get it faster they go faster. All right, yeah. So right now you have to spam the um, spam the B button. But there's like this whole level of doing that walking shell run thing, and you don't have to keep pressing B. All right, Bravo. You figured out how to ride the shell. Whatever. Yeah, you can't. Something or other. Okay, doke. Oh. If I'm not mistaken, you can actually get past these guys if you just quietly walk. Yeah, if you start running here, they'll wake up. But you can just do this. So you can avoid all the unnecessary fighting. Fighting's overrated anyways. Alright, you can just do it again. You just gotta slow your roll. All right, I'm out. <laughs> this is 
is like trying to do the true pacifist on in Undertale. Right, I can continue that later too. Alright, we're gonna do the same thing. Though is there a way to go up there? I think I go up there another time. So up above on this tree oh no, yeah, it's right here. I was about to say up above on this tree. Yeah, there's another cage. And that's how you get up here. And then you can go bada bing. Can't see, goddamn camera. Boom. Alright, let's try that again. This fucking camera. There we go. Now let's see if I can hold boost. No, you can't. No, there's another level where you can literally hold boost. Of course, if you choose the crazier routes, you get better stuff. That was like the hardest route to take before. Ah, I missed it! I'm gonna have to die. Ah, damn. Attack! Even Razor Beard is scared of you! Well, yeah, that's why he's trying to kill me with all his goddamn pirates. And that's why I guess he ate a lung. Oh, God. There you go. Oh! 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 No! <laughs> Dang it! Dang it! That one slip up and it was all over. <laughs> it's like when you lose that one, uh, what was it? That one step. It, it destroys your entire balance. Alright, let's try this again. I got this, I got this. Oh, there's one right there too. Uh -huh, there you go. Good thing I died then. Or, good thing I crashed. Alright. When turning, don't hit the boost button. <laughs> I'm still not good at doing boost turns yet. Where are you? So you have fighting is overrated anyways as a person who absolutely freaked up everyone in Sonic Riders. Well, even when you say that, what was it? That's not, that's not, that, to me that's not even fighting, that's just, ah, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh dang, how can I get over there? I'm missing something here. It's not fighting, it's just winning. <laughs> I know, it's a terrible excuse. It's a terrible, terrible excuse. I'm missing something here. At least I think I am. Ah, no, no. I will say you can use this and destroy a pirate in one hit so you don't have to like do that whole little action. You don't have to try and destroy their health bar is what I'm trying to say. Give me a concussion too. <laughs> yeah, I like doing this. Instant dead. Alright, I don't remember how to do it. And unfortunately I can't. I just remembered how to do this. I was about to give up. I can't believe I was about to give up when I knew it all along. <laughs> Alright, so what you do is you take this, and BAM! 
All right. Come on, Betty. If you could just aim at thingamajig. All right, you know what? Oh, right. Uh, I think you have to... I am so fucking smart remembering all these things. Okay, and then you gotta do it again. Fucking... I fucking knew I was gonna remember that. So smart. Ow. <laughs> so, so smart. I'm serious. It's seriously not smartness. It's just I played this game way too fucking many times when I was younger. Because I was trying to get that 100%. And I did most of this, if not all of this, without the help of a guide. So you, you have to keep repeating it, being like, that I miss something, that I do something, that I forget to do something else, body blah, blah, This guy is awesome. Clark, so it was you who wiped out all these pirates. Only 20 pirates against you? They didn't stand a chance. You're like, hello, little buddy. You want an arm wrestle? Hey, you don't look so good. Are you hurt? I must have swallowed something bad for me. To get better, I need some life potion. It's hidden near the entrance of the Marshes of Awakening in a place called the Cave of Bad Dreams. Don't forget that name or else the guard won't let you pass. The Cave of Bad Dreams? I won't forget. Hang in there. I'll go to the Marshes and get the elixir. Yeah, and so as I said uh, last time I was playing this game, the thanks little buddy <laughs> and he dies um but yeah as i was saying the last time i thought i could get into the cave but the guy was like get the fuck out of here you don't know what this cave is called this is where now you have to go back and you have to actually complete that cave to which this is i think this is the scariest part of the game i want to say there are a lot of like freaky deaky spots but this is definitely the scariest part of the game also princess puka Dom dominio 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 I remember this game I played on PC as I was a kid. Really? <laughs> so you played this game on PC when you were a kid? That's freaking awesome, but how are you doing, first of all? And second of all, like, yes, yes, that was it. So this is one of your childhood games type of things? <laughs> what's what's your what's your rating on it from uh from one to ten? Mine being a nine. Flat out nine. Totally a nine. All right, yeah, so now we're coming back in here and... Cause, and I guess that's the other thing. Maybe other people think other spots are freakier, but but we all know my, 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 my terrible fear by now. And this is another area where they do that terrible fear. But anyways, so he's like, I can read your mind. You know the name of this place. You are now ready to enter the Cave of Bad Dreams. But before you come in, I must tell you something. I have hidden a precious treasure inside. I should make him have that, like, that evil voice. So, like, you can keep it for yourself if you beat me to it. I'll give you a head start, but don't waste any time. If I catch you, I'll show you no mercy. This guy totally has the big the cat voice. Oh, damn. He, <laughs> he kind of does. No, this place, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm glad someone else agrees because fucking seriously, this is like the scariest place. And doesn't work and doesn't help with the music that they put here, especially if you're playing it at night. Man, okay, okay. Pr Princess Princess Buka, I don't know if if you were. It sounds like you were the, one of those kids that like you know, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. What made this place worse was like, I was watching those shows, you know, which already freaks you out. And then you come to play this game like at night, maybe like 10 o'clock, 9, 10, before you go to bed. And then you're just like over here crying. <laughs> Not literally crying. I, I don't think I ever cried in about this, but like crying over it. You're like, <laughs> why is this so goddamn scary? <laughs> you're like, no shit, you. I've been watching a lot of freaky crap. <laughs> and you come here and this dude chases the crap out of you. Yeah. Of course you're gonna be scared. <laughs> And Rayman Revolution was a remake of the game I'm playing on PS2 now. Wait! Rayman Revolution was a re- Rayman Revolution was a re- Wait! <laughs> I love how you say it even now. Wait a minute! Give me two seconds. Rayman Revol- I had never heard of this- Oh god, I'm about to make him die. Hold on. I'm about to make him die. I was so excited. I'm like, Rayman, screw you. Hold on. Rayman. Rayman Revolutions. 
this place and maybe it has no lums are you kidding me Raymond Revolution oh my god levels are accessed from linear selection the levels are accessed via three new hub world they have hub worlds in this the Minosaurus Plain, Globox's House, and Rainbow Creek, which are collectively known as the Front. What? Of Lie and Lie Clark or Lee Clark and the Teensies appear much more often in this version. She increases health. What the heck? Oh my God! And you're playing this now? What the freak? I didn't never knew this game existed. Oh my god! I need to play this just because! What's this one on PS2? Oh, Japanese version. Oh my god! Then they have two forever? What the frick? Ah, uh, and they have Who Hold Them's Revenge. I forgot about that one. Oh man, we're getting to we're we're getting to some stuff here now. I'm so glad he showed up. <laughs> I'm so glad he showed up, Princess Puka. Oh god, there's a remake. Okay, well, I'm playing that one. Heck yes! Heck yes! Gotta play that one! But I'm stuck on... This area had no... Has no lums in, um... In Raymond... In Raymond... Two... Re Raymond Revolutions. That's insane! I can't imagine this place not having any... Oh, shoot. Not having any lums. Who what now? Hoodlum's Revenge? That's Raymond 3. Oh, it just showed it as if it was something different. Like, there's three, and then there's Hoodlum's Revenge. Maybe it's the same thing, but probably different versions. I don't know. But yeah, the wiki just made it look like it's two completely different games. I played Raymond 3! I love it! <laughs> you love it? I've never played it. Or, let me correct myself. I played a demo version of it, so I played, like, I think the first level. But, uh, I never played past that. I really, really want to play it. So that will be definitely um, a game I play in the future. But first, we finish Raymond 2 and uh, and Undertale. And then we will go to Raymond 3. I played that in... Oh, Hoodlum Havoc. Oh, okay. Oh, so there's there's still sounds like there's two. That's interesting. Oh yeah, and with these little eye creatures, I think you have to kill them all, and then one of them pops out the the sphere that you need to add to this pyramid. And you said you played that in 2008. Uh, Princess Puka, did you saying you played Raymond 3 in 2008, or Undertale? Oh shit! Okay, I'm good. I actually don't know when Undertale came out. I'm just waiting for the fire pillar boss. The fire pillar boss? When did you mention Undertale? You two came out to the Okay. Wow, then the hoodlum the what was it? Oh I forgot about this. They just keep coming out. Actually <laughs> Man, Raymond 3 came out a long ass time ago then. And I said I mentioned Undertale when I said um, I want to play Raymond 3, but before I play Raymond 3, I'm going to finish Raymond 2 and Undertale. That's when I mentioned um, Undertale. Shit. Beat them. Freedom depends on your fists. Now that I'm older, that sounds kind of interesting. I mean, it, it sounded weird before, but. Now it just sounds interesting. I'm so late to some of these games. Princess Puka over here playing uh, Raymond 3 in 2008. Everyone playing Undertale in 2015. <laughs> I'm over here like, oh, that's what these games are. Hmm, that's cool. Hey, at least I played Paper Mario. Oh crap, at least I played Paper Mario Origami King right on time. But I'm not, just not streaming it. I don't know. For me, it just sounds lewd. I don't know. Well, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's what I'm thinking, too. I'm just not saying it. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. This is not so dif that difficult. What I don't understand, though, is like... At least that I remember. 
if you barely make it, like if you get him to, to do this cliffhanger move, if I can even make him do it. Yeah, he should be able to jump up like that. Instead he keeps falling down. I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah, the really other the other really interesting thing. Oh no! The other really interesting thing about this place is if you turn off the music. I don't know if you keep hearing that. Oh, like if you turn off the music, all you all you'll hear is like the sound effects of a woman going. Okay. It sounds interesting with the music. Oh goddamn. Sounds interesting with the music, but on its own it just sounds weird. I can do it! Yeah! Third time's charm! <laughs> okay. So Princess Puka, how far are you in, um... Oh wait, that was the wrong way to put it. How far are you in, um, Brayman Revolutions? This time. I am just too close to this edge. There we go. <laughs> I hit a. Come on. Okay, now I should be able to throw it over there. There we go. Right, I should probably shut up about stuff like that since everyone will think of that anyway. <laughs> well, new people, new people will, will, will not hear it, but, you know, the veterans of this channel will. <laughs> and oh god, I hear the, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Yeah, you, you really can't hear it or pay attention to it until you, you know, turn off the freaking music. Alright, there we go. Now all I have to do is get the yellow, yellow sphere, and then we should be good. Just now, that's the jump I'm talking about. When he's hanging on the off the side, you should be able to hit A, and then he'll just like jump up. For some reason, with the um with those little s spinning platforms, he just I hit the button to jump, and he just fall, which is odd to me. But anyways, all right. So now we're gonna get the yellow sphere. It should be easier, because right now it's just getting through this little obstacle course, and then you can throw the sphere down as opposed to what we just did with the blue sphere. Oh yeah, these guys take a long time to die. There you go. Shoot! I just realized that was another reason why I got so freaked out in this in this area too, because with the with that one-eyed dude with the hat, him saying if I catch you, then you know no mercy. So this whole entire time, this whole area, you think he's gonna show up out of nowhere and just start coming after, you, but but that is not what happens at all. He just I guess says it to freak you out until you reach a certain part in the game or in this level, and then he's finally like, oh hey, seems like. You know, you and I have finally said hello. You playing on PC? Yeah, I'm playing it on an emulator on PC. If only you could- thank you. Shoot. I'm gonna die before I can even- <laughs> I'm gonna die from falling before I can even get to the, um... There you go. Before I can even get to the to the pyramid. <laughs> Alrighty. I can't believe there's a Raymond Revolution though. Damn, I'm so My life has my my life has changed forever. Yeah, okay, so we grab these two things, we come down here, and I think this is where the guy's gonna be like, Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Because on the PC version it says spamming F8 will extend Raymond's shot distance. Oh, cool.
Hold jumping forward and remove. There's never really a reason, unless you're trying to speedrun, I guess, but like, there's never really a reason to do that long jump. Yeah, so now he's like, You're tripping, yeah! I'm like, Whoa! Yeah, here's where I just fucking hated it, because now I'm in the fucking jaws of the creature while we're seeing Raymond get closer to it. It's just fucking terrifying when you're a kid. And I gotta admit, I don't think I've seen any other game put a put a um put a level like this before. Or create a level like this before. Quite like this, I should say. I'm sure they had something similar, but I, I haven't seen it so far. This was fucking scary when I was younger. Jesus Christ. This is freaky. It is! It's fucking terrifying! Well, you know, when you're older, it's not terrifying, but yeah. Like, they they really tried to mess with your freaking mind. 20 years later, and it's still freaking freaky. Alright, bud. Can I hit him? No, I think I have to. No, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, I have to push him this way. Alright. Yeah, I have to chase down his uh, big booty. Oh, right. He'll like, he's about to like throw something, I think. Or hit, I'm supposed to hit him. No, there he goes. Yeah. Now he's just gonna help me along my journey to get to his big odd behind. One more. Oh, no, he thinks I can make it. Alright. I mean, better cam and looking from the front because I can actually see, but the HUD is unnecessary. Yeah, it is. At least for me, it's better because I can at least see where I'm friggin' going, you know? Like, they still put the fear factor into it without, without, like, having you not see where you're going and seeing, like, the actual just dude coming after you. Gonna keep on doing this. Oh, he thinks I'm gonna make it again? Alright. Yeah, now he's just gonna start spamming this. You're in the cave? Yeah, I'm in the cave of bad dreams. At the end, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is the end. I think he's gonna spam more. Barrows. Burrows. Not barrels, burrows. Yeah, here we go. I'm looking through a speedrunning guide and the skip for this boss is considered easy. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, so now he reached he reached the end, which is like Oh my god, there's so much money. And of course this dude is like You want the money, don't you? Yes, you do. <laughs> He's like, what? That you defeated me, my treasure is yours. Take whatever you want. You could have it all if you want to. Yeah, so actually the really cool thing here... You could literally just end the game now and go, I want the treasure. The greed has taken over his soul. Like, Alright, cool, yeah, I'll do it. Bam! But now the question for me, because this is the Cave of Bad Dreams, I'm like... Is this just a, a an illusion or something? <laughs> yeah, they literally, they literally give you an ending. <laughs> like, alright, the end. You're done. <laughs> I think I have to wait for it. No, I remember this. That's so weird. <laughs> I know it was the weirdest thing, but at least for me, I thought it was so cool because usually, you know, a game will 
will push you into a certain direction and they're like, no, I can't do that. I'm going to have to do this. But no, this game, they're like, oh, you want to do it? All right. <laughs> Good luck for you. But yeah, it was, it was, it was weird though. With like just, just what, ha I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's the ending. Like the fake ending. But yeah, then we can do this and do just no treasure for me, which continues the game, of course. The music though, the heck? That's the thing. That's probably what they're trying to do is weird you out. As uh, as I was a kid, that was a logic ending I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it was it was definitely different for sure. Like you're saying, as a kid, it's just you're just all sorts of messed up by this game. Like it gave you ideas you never think you thought you should have made or should have thought of. So anyway, this guy is like, he's like, you did it. You made the right choice. So here, take the elixir of life and guard it preciously. <laughs> so he's not a bad guy. He's just Trying to freak the crap out of you. <laughs> and Raymond's like, oh, okay. Thanks, buddy. I think I can do this now. So now we have to go all the way back and help Clark Kent over here. Let him get this elixir of life inside his body. Next level, you can grab the purple ring from the ground, by the way. Careful. It's so interesting. I enjoy this game for even this too, where like they're making it seem like nothing ever, nothing actually happened here, but in reality, Raymond actually is coming back and doing this a, a, a second time. All right. You say the purple r ring from the ground? Is there a reason for me to grab a purple ring in here now? Oops. Alright, let me see what you have over here. Google user content. Oh, dang! That's what you meant. Oh, wow, alright. Alright, yeah, let's see if we can do that. Oh, shoot. Just keep running. <laughs> like, I, I literally get nothing out of them. I get no good lums, I get no, like, progression. I get nothing, so I, I'm just gonna run forward. This game is seriously weird though. It's good, but Jesus Christ. Especially when you have when you're a kid and you got like all this active imagination going on. <laughs> this, this game's like, what if we mess up your mind even more? As a kid you're like, ah, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> and now you're like, well pretty cool. Ah, I forgot about that thing. Alright, we're good. Okie doke. And now we're about to do a spin to the right. You gotta be careful. Else I'm gonna kill myself accidentally. Alright. Here we go. We're gonna fly into it. BAM! Do I have to open that up again? I do. Alright, which means I'm going to take this. And I'm gonna throw it at the pirate. Because I don't care to fight him. Meanwhile, I got to chill with Minecraft and Jack and Dexter. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's probably why it's probably why the next generation is is um is is so chill. Like, I mean, I know there's some crazy crap going on, but it's like it seems like they're crap. I missed. Probably why they're they're, they're they seem chill. Like, at least for me, it seems like my generation was just is just losing their mind. Like, what do we do? How do we do it? What are we gonna do? Oh my God, aliens! Next generation is like, <laughs> what is it? Uh, uh, cargo. Brrr. <laughs> 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 ha ha! Alien goes zap zap. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, Raymond's like, here, Clark, you can take this. So we got, thanks, little buddy. Yahoo! Now I can go crush a whole bunch more pirates. What the fuck did I see for a second? He got like these weird like hypno eyes. He's like, cool, but put me down first, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> when you're when you're so happy, you grow like a five o'clock shadow <laughs> over your whole chin, a big ass chin. Okay, so you're saying I can just eh? I can eh? Heck yeah! That was actually very easy. That was very easy. 
Out of all these other speedrunning things I've been doing, Jesus Christ, that's, I think that was one of the easiest. Gen Z might be chill, but they can roast. Oh yeah, they can roast. They can roast, and they can roast hard. Oh, well, don't make them mad, else they'll roast, the, they'll roast your feelings. <laughs> you thought you had feelings before? Nah. They'll make sure you, you know that you have feelings. By the way, Mr. Cage. What? I missed a cage? Where the hell did, where the heck did I miss a cage? Where the yuckus skuckus did I miss a cage? What up, bud? Alright, you're saying I missed it here, here, let's see. <laughs> and you do know. Just waiting on that good old lovin'. Oh, that one. God damn it. Alright, well, I guess when I try doing my hundred run on it, I'll just come- Ow, fuck! I'll just come back and get it. And I didn't hear the help thing, so I totally didn't even think to get it, to try and grab it. There was no cage shaking, there was no- Ow! going to fucking do this. We're in it. To win it. Ah, don't do it! Yeah, I got it. Okay. See? Beautiful. W wonderful. What's really funny, I don't know if anyone knows it. So anyone who's watching, I don't know if you know this, but like, th this this area is reminding me of, uh, ah, uh, there was like an MMD, an MMD video where they do, I want to take you to a gay bar! I want, and this looks like that ledge where they, where they put the, the two MMD models. <laughs> So right here, I thought this was interesting because Raymond's like, oh, there's, it's a dead end. He looks around, he looks down, he's like, wait, it's not a dead end. So they're like, what are you doing, Raymond? He jumps off the edge and you find out he saw a portal and he's like, woohoo! <laughs> eh, bonus level access denied. Alright, well, I guess we'll bonus level it later. Alright, can it be? Can it be? Can it be? I think this is where the spider comes after you. So I know if it was if it wasn't regarded as easy, I wouldn't even mention it. <laughs> well, you mentioned a lot of them, whether they're like like between I wanna say like easy and hard. Now, exceedingly difficult, you like kinda just say it, but you don't really say you don't really you're not like, oh you can do it, you're just like, oh yeah, by the way, you could do this. Yes, and exactly this one. I want to take you to a gay bar! <laughs> this is exactly the video. It reminds me of this, exactly. <laughs> then he throws them off. At least I think he throws them off. <laughs> yeah, he does! <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly the video. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I, I think this is the one. Yeah, okay, yep, you said yep, spider. Which means this is the one that I said um, also in the previous stream where if you go far enough away but not too far, you go back and you press, you can actually. No, hold on. Come on. There we go. I don't know why that works. I don't know how that works. I guess it's an Easter egg or some shit. But you do that there and you immediately get these golden gauntlets. Not going to question it. But if you get hit three times, you lose your gauntlets. So let's just see. <laughs> Wait, what? Yep. And I think I think you can do it in other portal areas too. But like this is like the first portal area that, that I know of where you can do that. You can look back if you're far enough distance away but not too far. And you activate these magic gloves. They're stronger. I think they're better homing or something like that. They go farther. Blah blah blah. And they can totally beat the shit out of this spider. <laughs> See? Bam. It's dead. So like, if you don't have these things, it takes like I think four hits or something. So 
Like, it's really, the spider's really incredibly hard to beat. But if you have these gauntlets and you do it right, you kill it in two hits. Boom, it's dead. But you don't have to worry about running through this going, ah! Like, like if you don't know that, you're literally going through it screaming, running, crying, cause, because it's catching up to you. And especially if you're scared of spiders, it's just breathing down your fucking neck and you don't want it to do that. But you do this and you're fine. It doesn't come back. Well, in this run. At least. It doesn't come back. Yeah, and if you if you actually use this purple lum while the spider's here, it'll um the spider will literally just keep running around. <laughs> it's like just stand still, damn it! Like, now. <laughs> okay. And we go down. I assume that's cord something or other or something, and this power up is stored there or something for something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean you don't have to try figuring it out. I don't give a shit, honestly. I'm just saying that it does it. I don't know why it does it, don't know how it does it, but it just fucking does it. And that's fine by me. Uh, let's see. And there you go, even with that guy, I don't know if you've seen so far, so when I was fighting that pirate before, it took me like, what, five hits to kill that guy? With these power gauntlets, it takes just two. I thought it was gonna be three hits, but never mind. Yeah. So also, by the way, uh, these little these little things actually give you, yeah, Raymond right, is the greatest. But um, yeah, these little spots are like little. I want to say, I don't know. It, it, it just it's just the developers giving you some sort of conversation. I don't usually care about this at the moment because it doesn't do much. But I I thought this one was funny because it says in prison here is public enemy and two. His rain dance led to the rusting of several brave Robo pirate comrades. <laughs> So they think he's like he, they think he's 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 like a public enemy. He's an evil guy, the Glovox character. When in reality, he's just a fucking idiot, a big, lovable, huggable dummy who can do the rain dance. <laughs> the fucking y'all y'all y'all. It's just fucking what the fuck. <laughs> I don't want to drop and lose any lums. All right. Yeah, so literally Glowbox follows you around, and whenever you need him to do a rain dance, you just go to it, and he's like, Oh, yeah, sure. I can do that, buddy. There he goes. Light is that. I'll get the slum. Carefully. All right. Yep. So, uh... Oh my god! <laughs> can you can you reactivate the, 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 the flower for me? This. Fuck back here. This. This. This flower takes an abnormally long time to move. And this freaking glow box is just like, oh, well, you know, I guess I can't do anything. Not even jump on that freaking flower. Alright, he's coming. Where'd the music go? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Do it or don't. I don't care! <laughs> We'll we'll get we'll get out of this level and then we'll we'll do the smug dance to to oh shoot there we go already god damn it I already lost a friggin uh one of these gauntlet things so the cool thing about the gauntlet I will say god damn it the cool thing about the gauntlet I will say is um after we finish this level if we get hit anywhere else and then we come back to to this said level I think the gauntlets come back but you have to like actually get out of this level go to another and then come back to actually to activate that. And not have the, the power gauntlets at all. To be able to reactivate that ability. I can't do it, buddy. Oh, 
So are you trying to, um, are you trying to speedrun or something, Artane, with this game? Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking glow box. <laughs> Ouch. I like how the piece, what's the matter? Are you, oh. What's the matter? Are you afraid? No, no. <laughs> Glowbox's not afraid. There's no shame in being scared, you know? The warship and the pirates are very dangerous. Oh, if only I had more of my powers. And of course, Glowbox is like, Powers, you say? Glowbox forgot that. <laughs> Out of all this craziness. A silver lum. He's getting a power up. I think I can now do, um, hold. I can charge my attacks now. Lie, give me lums to make. Oh, lie, give me lums to make your fist stronger. Lie said, press B longer to make your shot stronger. Press B uh, or hold B. Okay. I like how the PS2 has the ear rape launch option. Oh God. Oh, is that? <laughs> I I appreciate that it's an actual option too. <laughs> I don't care enough about the story and stuff and gameplay too for that matter because Cam, so yeah, speed run time. <laughs> yeah, for me it's always about the speed oh, I'm sorry, it's always about the about the about the story. Copy story. Well No, actually yeah, it's always about the story. Okay, so they do all this crazy crap. Wham! Insta dead! Love it. Okay, now I have to come back, tell him it's okay, so he can come over and do his little rain dance. Alright, come on, buddy. What the frig was wrong with older consoles? Older consoles, you say? Oh god, I'm 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 kinda I'm kinda worried now that you have this. Oh, this. It's funny how you say that, cause, cause that, cause that, that startup screen sound noise. It gives me, it gives me like, it gives me issue. Oh, dang, I'm, I lost all my gauntlet stuff. But um. <coughs> That noise gives me issue. It reminds me of the uh, was a THX noise I think, in the beginning of movies back then. You know, when you're a kid, you're thinking, you're thinking everything's fine. You know, you, you got no issues at all, no problems, kuna matata. <laughs> and then out of friggin' nowhere, it, well, after you start the movie, all of a sudden you hear that boom noise, and you're like, what the heck? <laughs> it scares you for life. Can you can you just come down here? Thank you. Yeah, so then he's also gonna put rain on this and make it my little... What, what, what do I want to say? My little camouflage bush. Oh yeah, THX, thank god I didn't have that one. God, the revolution loadings are so ugly. Can you give a, can you give a screenshot? I've never seen them before. Bless. And like you're saying, I, I'm glad he didn't have to uh, grow up in that, because Jesus Christ, I think you're fine, and then... like. I remember it was with Mary Poppins specifically. I was like, oh, I can't wait to watch Mary Poppins. Bam! And I was like, I never want to watch Mary Poppins again. <laughs> In a cutscene sec. Okay. Blue, like, I never want to watch a cut. I never want to watch Mary Poppins again. Of course, I can. I, I kept continue to watch it, but still. So yeah, this this spotlight I think finally bumps into me and is like, what is that doing here? Yeah. Identification underway. Everything's okay. It's just a big-nosed bush. Door deactivated. When I when I played this before, I was like, "What do you mean big-nosed? I mean Raymond does have a big nose, but like you can't see it in this bush." So, anyways, I think you can talk to yeah. He's like, "I can't come with you, my darling. Uglet wants to see me." <laughs> I never fully realized her name was Uglet. Glowbox and Uglet. Why? Why would you call? Why would you name a character Uglet? <laughs> and now in game, give me more sec. That's no, fine. I miss five fairies. How in the yuck that I miss five fairies. 
Yeah, well, I'll be back for it eventually. Uh, let's see if I can get the power gauntlet thing right now. Because I just finished the level. We'll see if we can. I'm missing five. That means I'm missing that, um, that smiling lum. I must be. There we go. Alright. Yep, so now all I gotta do is do that, go back inside the portal, bam, now I got power gauntlet for the next level. <laughs> Like they have, they have a little, a little, not really Witcher icon, but like they have like a little power up, power gauntlet in some of these levels. But like, why would you want to go through all the trouble of trying to find it when you could just get it right there and then go back inside the portal? Come on. <laughs> all right, so yeah, I think now we're in the aquarium. We're in, yeah, in like an aquarium water level. I think the first out of two. I'm not sure. Oh god, I forgot about this guy. Fuck! I forgot all about this guy. I hate this thing. Alright. DMs. Let me see. Bum bum bum. I have to wait a little bit. Mine the animation bad too, not and that's not full screen. It's a bit cropped. <laughs> and my in game quality is as good as yours. Ah, shit. Fucking hate you, buddy. can't dodge him either. I don't think, anyways. Worthless. Oh, wow. What a cut. What? Really? Is that, is that really what it looks like? <laughs> it almost looks like a, a Game Boy, um... It almost looks like a, a, a Game Boy Advance type of type of cutscene. That's interesting. Or a loading screen, I'm sorry. And it's funny, I say, <laughs> it was just, you're saying it's not even full screen either. Wow, alright. Alright. I know, right? Oh, I forgot about these goddamn piranhas here. You know what? I guess I'm just gonna have to take the L right here. Nope. Well, and all of a sudden, there goes my gauntlets. <laughs> I guess I don't need them that much, that that bad in this level, and or yeah, in this area, anyways, because this is mostly just about what is it, getting to sea or something? Yeah, like right now, we're on the beach or something, and, and then like the next area that we go to will be a beach, which is mostly underwater type gameplay. Well, I know a pirate wants to kill me. I I can hear I can hear that much. I can literally hear that much. Okie doke. I can just grab the Wow! He was right next to me and he missed me almost every single time. That was cool. Also, you, I think you can get up to the top of that that boat with just a little bit of help. Cause all I remember was, um, I think I got close to the top and I, I, like, I missed it by, by like an inch. <laughs> the only stream about Raymond 2, you're a legend because this game is awesome. One of my faves. Wesoon, thank you so very much. I'm actually very surprised I'm the only one streaming Raymond 2 right now. Honestly, I'm going to be, I'm going to be truthfully honest about that. I was like, I thought there were like at least five people. I don't know. That's my assumption. But thank you very much, yes! That's actually why I'm streaming it, because this is literally my favorite, one of my favorite childhood uh, games of all time. But how are you doing, Wasoon? <laughs> and, good question, because, who is it, Princess, um, oh, you know, you what, you can, you can, you can stop that. Princess Puka, uh, 
was saying something similar. Have you ever played Rayman Revelation, Revel, Revelations, Revolutions, Revolution? Or have you played Rayman 3? We've been on the, on those subjects for a little bit. But yeah, I absolutely love this game. I, I tried so hard to 100%. I don't know if I ever did in my life, but... Lord knows I tried. I tried. Like, I only had like one more lum left to find if I even had to find it. So good. <clears throat> Alrighty. So, oh, so I played Raymond 2 for a bunch of consoles like PS1, Nintendo 64. Wait, it was on Nintendo 64? Dreamcast and 3DS. It was on the 3DS? <laughs> My life is like just changing right now. <laughs> it's ch There's on DS too. There's a DS. My life is changing right now. What do you mean? I never heard of this before. Oh my god. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know that. I only know Dreamcast. And I think PS1. And now you're saying the rev revelations and you got them all. F oh my god. What even? <laughs> uh, yeah, for real. You never 100% it? Is that a challenge? Um, I guess it is a challenge. And revelation for and revolution for PS2 and revolution. Jesus Christ, you've done this every other which way. You must have 100 percent of this quite a few times, then, haven't you? And yeah, I guess it is a challenge because honestly, the only thing I have to do now is probably just get a guide for that last lum. Because like I said, when I say I 100, I've mostly 100 percent of this. Literally, there's like it seems like there's like one last lum to find, and I couldn't find it. And that's the only thing that prevented me from getting 100 percent. So if I just get a guide to get it this time, now that I'm, you know. I got access to the internet. <laughs> I would be able to finally 100% this, and my, my lifelong goal of replaying this over and over again will finally be complete, which reminds me, actually, we have Globox minigames, too, in the Globox village that we should go in, that we should go after eventually, probably after, or when we get close to the end of the story. But anyways, we have, hey, Raymond, Carmen the whale is trapped. Is Carmen a female? I never knew this about this whale. The pirates want to use her blubber to oil the engines of their prison boat. Now that I'm older, I actually... I now understand this part of the story. <laughs> Go help her fast before it's too late. Fun fact, only PS1 version has... Hey, they have voice acting! What have I done with my life? For real! For real! Guess who's getting it for PS1? <laughs> Guess who's getting it for PS1? I'm get I used to play PS1 version because of the English voice acting. I constantly play the Dreamcast because I only had the Dreamcast. So, yeah, you don't know me much. So the thing is, I grew up with Dreamcast, and I grew up with GameCube. And that's about it. Most everyone else who watches me has played uh, PlayStation. So when you say that, I'm like, oh man, of course it's a PlayStation. God dang it. Ah, guess who's getting Raymond for PlayStation 1. At least my PlayStation 1 still works. <laughs> but Jesus Christ, guess who's getting it for PlayStation 1 then. They have voice acting? Hot diggity. And they have it for all these different freaking consoles. Secondary hot diggity. Jesus Christ. Even in my childhood, I missed out on awesome shit. Gee, damn. We're playing- we're, 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 once I get it for PlayStation 1, we're playing this again just for the voice acting. It's happening. I mean, it's it's definitely happening. There's- there's no- there's no doubt in my mind. So, <laughs> beat this game, beat Undertale, uh, go for Raymond 3, and then we'll come back to Raymond 2 English voice acting version eventually. Okay. There we go. Mama! To breathe, grab my air bubbles. Oh, I'll grab them air bubbles. Just to note, too. By the way, this is like my favorite little character. I don't think I said th that yet, but like this little shell guy. He is so freaking adorable! Whoa! He's so freaking adorable. Quick, Raymond, you're a nice hand. Did I miss something up there? I feel like I missed something up there. You know, if I miss something up there, I'll come back and get it. Let's go with Carmen. 
<laughs> so I gotta admit, this is like also one of my favorite whales of all time as well, like real life and in and, 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 and game. I say that because this was around the time when I started learning my fear of deep sea and ginormous mouths. So for this whale to not open its mouth and for this sea to not be so open spaced <laughs> and for the whale to not make the constant sea this constant whale noises sound like it, you know you're listening to the to the voices of the damned uh i'm like i actually really appreciate this whale like it, it's really it's really cute because <laughs> once i learned about deep sea wh actual whale noises and and then and big mouths and how big they open their mouths i Whales are cute, but mm. Mm. that version of PS1 have I at least I guess at least three languages. The piranhas are coming to take my air. <laughs> the piranhas are coming to take my air bubbles. So you'll really have to. So you'll really be surprised when you see it. Yeah, you say three languages too. I remember there's two Spanish and English voice acting. Seriously? Oh yeah, and then you have to like flick your little attack things on those guy, uh, the piranhas so they can run away. Swim away. Wow, run. God, the hover feels weir weird compared to three. <laughs> so there's two Spanish as well. Okay. It sounds like <laughs> it sounds like with, with the PlayStation 1 version, it sounds like they, they were uh, testing out voice acting. They're like, alright, which ones sound the best? All right, now Carmen's just gonna keep swimming around here for a little bit, which gives me the opportunity to get the air bubbles here. Mine, bitch. I can come down here and get the little secret hidden plums. <laughs> but yeah, then heck, we'll we'll try we'll try both we'll try both we'll try we'll try all. My thing is just I'm just glad that there's voice acting in here, because whenever I heard this, so Weston, you, again, I I don't think you were in my previous stream about this, but I would definitely say. Uh, <laughs> based off of uh, when I was younger and playing this, <laughs> because there was no voice acting, of course, you hear Raymond doing his little "Yet up bat do bat di ba ba da," right? And so my mom would play this. Actually, she actually highly enjoyed this game. She actually enjoyed a lot of games, actually. Um, but this was this was definitely also one of her favorites. But whenever he would. <laughs> Whenever he would say stuff like that, or whenever Glowbox would do his <laughs> <laughs> or when live, when she'd do her ah. my mom, man, she joked so goddamn hard, it killed me. It killed me. Cause she was like, what was it? How dow de boot do? How de bow de boot do? <laughs> you gotta stop. And the lie. Oh, 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 kid, oh, I'm like, oh, you gotta stop. <laughs> But <laughs> she wouldn't. And Glowbox, she's like, duh. <laughs> oh, yeah, Raymond. <laughs> yeah, duh. It doesn't sound that funny when I say it like that, but I'm like, it's, that, it's definitely that thing when you're, you know, a kid or a teen and you have your parents trying to purposely embarrass the living hell out of you. That's what makes it so funny. I'm like, I know what she was doing. <laughs> I know what she was doing. Grab the, grab the lum. Grab the lum. Thank you. Know what she was doing. <laughs> Alright. Ah! I missed! <laughs> it's fine. Time to go grab that purple lum again. Alright. Seems kind of weird to me that there aren't any speedrunners currently live with this game. That's what I was saying when Wesson, when Wesson said, um, I hope I'm saying that right, um, Wesson. When Wesson said that about the about no no one else but me, I'm like, really? I would expect someone else to be playing this game. But nope. But who can deny the majestic beauty that is Raymond to the great escape? Uh, get back over here. There you go. You could just 
Thank you. Alright, and if I'm not mistaken, there's a there's a, one of those big Brutus Grutists down there, the, in, the invincible guy, so I have to trick him to go into the water. If you could just go down. If you could just if you could just Thank you. Yeah, there he is. So now you gotta trick him. There you go. And that is the only way you can kill him. Ah! 40. Hmm. I might have missed it when I was trying to save Carmen. I'm not entirely sure. Nor do I care at this point. We're legends here, the only one in this game. It's not because it's bad, it's because it's underrated. Yes. A hundred percent, Wesson. A hundred percent. It is because it is just underrated. And even coming back to this, there's still freaky moments. It's still a freaking awesome game. I agree with Artane though. These con these cameras, like, you, you, you pretend it's not a really difficult, like, you pretend it's not a difficult, um... What was the one I'm looking for? Yeah, you, pre you pretend the cameras aren't difficult because this is, it has like really good gameplay or whatever, but then when you go to, to newer games that actually have better cameras that follow you or do whatever, and then you come back to these, you're like, OH MY GOD, HOW DID WE SURVIVE <laughs> WITH THESE GODDAMN CAMERAS? Okay, we got, welcome to the council chamber of the teensies. Splendid, you've got enough lungs to pass through. Yeah, there you go. Prepare yourself to discover a new world. Alright, so now if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be mask number two. Man, we're actually kind of zooming through this game, kind of, actually. We're already at mask two. Which means we could probably get to mask four by the end of this, before the end of the stream. Now, the, like, the bad guy? Like, the ultimate bad guy? Probably not. Come on! Yeah, right there. Had a boo do. <laughs> I don't think I'll do. I don't think I'll beat the big boss in this in this um, stream. But we'll probably be getting all four masks. If we get four masks and I still have some time left on this stream, I'll go to the Globox Village and we'll play a couple of those um, mini games. Gotta tell you, some of those creatures, some of those Globox babies. They're fucking weird. And there's one that's like a stalker or something. He's like, I know all about you, or I've been watching you, I've been following you, I know your every move. And I'm like, if you were a villain, I'd be scared of you. Honestly. I'd be completely fearful of you. Why am I here? Ouch. I almost want to die so I can get the power gloves gauntlets. I think I'll get some here. Oh, yeah, they're right there. Get the fuck off. He's like, <laughs> right, it's right there. Ah, you know what? I'm about to kill you. I'm about to kill you. I try to be pacifist. Be a pacifist. But if you throw me into the lava, you've gone too far. Yes, yeah, so I, I don't know if the bandage thing, if I open it up, if it'll put a lum here, or if the lum comes later. Fire pillar boss soon then the only thing I remember about this game. Oh, that's even by fire pillar boss. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this next one that's coming up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then the other lum I think comes out later then. Is a pirate? Okay, here, uh, yeah, I'll definitely say here's the second freakiest area. I think. 
Isn't this like where that you got like some weird shit following you from the from the ceiling or something? That was definitely creepy too. Second creepiest thing. Okay. Now I got my power gallons. Yeah, and then you got the fucking stalker thing in the background. Like he's he's like he's he's following you and he goes around the pillars or whatever and like you literally know he's there. You see him there flying around, but Raymond can't see him or or, or acknowledge that he's there. God damn it. <gasps> oh. Oh, I forgot his his hook thing completely annihilates me. I totally forgot about that. My bad, yo. All right, got you, buddy. Come here. Wow. I mean, yeah, of course. <laughs> you don't know that, then you're not a true Raymond fan. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, hey, you're on fire now. Oh, wow, I didn't even really see that. Okay. Yeah, so there's this weird stuff. Oh my god, it was too- it was too close. Okay. Yes, this thing. Works for me. Yeah, I don't know why, okay? Look, don't- don't- don't hate me. For- don't- don't hate me because I freak out when I- easily when I was younger. But for some reason, those weird little black things? For some reason, they scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Now I'm looking at them like, they're really not that scary, but for some fucking reason, they were terrifying. Why? I have no idea. I mean, not as scary as the spider, and definitely not as scary as the dude with the, the one-eyed dude with the... What does he have again? Ah, I missed it! With the hat. The magician's hat. Or whatever it is. With that voodoo hat. Okay. I just got a fucking spam B. <laughs> got it. Oh wow, I got that first try. That was awesome. Excuse me. Haha, <laughs> really? Okay, now I got the hang of the camera. I might just be able to play this. Good, good. <laughs> yes, excellent. And also, really? Haha, <laughs> really? Haha, <laughs> yes. I have no idea why. And I'm I, I, kind of like what I told uh, Princess uh, Puka. I think it was because around the time that I was playing this game when I was younger, I was playing, I, I was watching, um, like, Courage the Cowardly Dog and, 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 and uh, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. So just dark things, you know, lurking around every corner type of crap. That stuff was like really, really, it got me easily. Cause like Courage the Cowardly Dog was just a scary ass show. If you don't, if you never watched like actual horror shows. So you've climbed how, you've, you've guessed how to climb onto the plum and move by shooting in the opposite direction. If you want to grab it, stand in front of it. And then you hit the A and the B or whatever. You already saw me do that. They're like evil spirited away soots. That's a, that's a, that's a good, that's a, that, wow, alright, yeah, that works. <laughs> that dude's name is Juno. Oh, well, alright. Thanks, Juno! Juno what? <laughs> Sometimes I hate myself. <laughs> this is one of those times. Alright. I think this puts you, this gives you like a little something special. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it gives me something special. I, I I actually don't. I remember this area, but I don't. And there goes my power gloves, gauntlets. Okay. It's funny because it's like my instincts of playing this before tell me to come here. The reason why I came here, I have no idea. I don't remember anything about this area. Alrighty. 
Alrighty. Man, playing this, like, now... Damn. Playing this now... <laughs> after so long, I'm like, man, the feelings I get from this are so different now. Like, before I'm like, oh yeah! Now I'm like, wow! I don't know, I really don't know how to explain the difference, but it's like, yeah, if you, like, play... It's not even nostalgic. I, I can't even say this game is nostalgic. It's like, because even playing this now, I'm like, do I still consider this, like, one of my favorite games? Yeah. For that time? Oh, heck yeah. It's still a fantastic game. So it's like, it doesn't give me the nostalgia of, like, oh, such a long time ago, it was such a good game. I'm like, it still is a great game, so what is this feeling? Uh, modern nostalgia? I don't know. I like it. <laughs> Makes me happy. Makes me excited. Even though you cannot see it on my face. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dang, look at that! You hear the excitement. You don't see my face. My face hasn't changed. <laughs> what the fuck is a squeaky noise? Is that, are those spiders? I think it's a spider. Sounds like SpongeBob's squeaky boots. Ah, baby spiders, of course. Because why wouldn't there be uh, baby spiders? Any more? No. All right. Oh wait, I shouldn't have done that yet because I think these things slowly collapse into the lava. Uh, shoot, I think I did that way too early. I think. No, I'm good. Oh my god! I did not expect to make that! <laughs> Woo! Woo! You know, he just lost the bottom half of his body, but we're good. <laughs> we're good. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, see, now that I don't have the power gauntlets, this, it takes a really long ass time to kill this thing. Unless you, you know, have... The, you know, you, f fuck it. You know what I'm saying. Unless you have... Charge. Power. Attacks. There you go. He's like, yeah! Did it! That's just because I'm amazing, that's all. Yeah. Okie doke. Oh, I got my power gauntlets again. Which means the exit, or... Yeah, it's over here. Right, I just did that out of order. Of course I did. Oh god! Oh. Okay, we can do this. Okay. Let me tell you, <laughs> I am so shocked that I got through that. Because, like, I, I even though I said before I don't even remember this area much, I remember that spot. And I remember it was took such a long-ass time to get to the ending. Long-ass time! And to be able to do it on, the, like, the first try after so many years, I'm like, I still fucking got it. <laughs> long-ass time it took me to get there. Uh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was so awesome. <laughs> oh man, that felt good. <laughs> First try. <laughs> First try, yeah, okay. First try in a long time, I'll, I'll give it that, but not 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 first try. <laughs> what is it? So you have uh so if you really want to try the other version of Raymond, so I'll follow to see your reaction about this. Oh heck yes! Oh heck yes. That is a go that is going to happen. Like when I say this is one of my favorite games of like like bet I will get it. But um as I always say, I want to buy the game, so I might just use an emulator, but I'd rather buy the game first uh before I actually play it. So that way, you know, it's it's it eases my conscience to know that I'm getting the game. But yeah. Once, once I, once I can get that, once I can find one, and once I can purchase it and obtain it, 
And hell yes, I'm definitely playing that other version. It's happening. So if I'm not mistaken, you can come down here to get a lum or something, but then you have to c climb all the way back up to cont to progress to the mask. I could be completely wrong about this, but you know. Or not. I think I was supposed to do the other <laughs> do it the other way around. <laughs> Oops! But here's that. Here's where that friggin' thingamajig is. Look, you can hear. It. Look at it. Ah, I hate it so much. Friggin' hate it. And then you said, "The heck, I'm missing like 80% of the lums for no reason." <laughs> Deeply confused. I have no idea. Just look under every nook and cranny. <laughs> and good job. Thank you. Thank you. How do I kill this thing? Oh, there we go. That's how I kill it. Okay, so I guess I have to like mess with it. There we go. There you go. Yeah! And also, what's up? Thank you very much for the follow. I highly appreciate that. Raymond fans got to sticks together. Oh! No, okay. Well. We got to sticks together. And I cannot wait to hear the voice acting for this game. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear the voice acting for this. I, I have wanted to hear voice acting for this game for so long, and now to know it actually happened. Oh god. I cannot wait. <clears throat> okay, so I think now we just reach the, the, the big boss. Or at least his lair. And there it goes. Come on, buddy. Go. Boom. Okay, this place is also a pain in the friggin' butt. Especially because you can't. You can't! Ah! You can't touch those spots, else you die! God damn it! Oh, hey, that was actually perfect. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh my god. That was cutting it way too close. Oh! 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 <laughs> Got it. What are you talking about? What do you mean freaking out about the. <laughs> it was. Ah! Look at the fucking lump! No! I see my life slowly flashing before my very eyes. It's not going to happen. But at least I got the checkpoint. But I missed the. I missed the smiling lump. Man, this reminds me. Yeah, eventually you get to a point where you can endless hover for like one level. Dude, when when you find out you can actually endless hover, I'm like, why the heck? Why the heck do they do they not let us endless hover everywhere? I would break the game so many different ways, flying literally anywhere I wanted to. <laughs> Though actually, yeah, with an emulator, wouldn't you be able to like hypothetically uh, 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 activate the the code that would give you the endless hover in any level? Which would be an interesting thing to do. Oh god! I see this. Oh, this is. It brings you back here if you. Oh yeah, okay, I remember this. Now come back! Oh god. Never mind. Do your thing. Yes, please, and never mind. Goddamn camera and confusing sprites. Oh yeah, the spiky tentacles level. Yeah. I think we're on the same page on that. You said never never mind to the to the DMs, I'm assuming? Okay. So we gotta go up here. We gotta grab this. Where is little squeaker man? I don't know. I'm gonna have to say Ah oh, no! I'm gonna have to say no to him for now. Excuse me. Yeah, this is where you pop out. Oh yeah, isn't it in, in a in a hidden wall over here? Oh god, I think it's in a hidden wall over here. Okay, so 
Oh, yeah, you did it. You're right there. Yeah, right there. There you go. Which the 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 helping ca cage should be up here. Ah! Please, oh, thank you. I didn't expect him to literally climb himself off the webbing. <laughs> the camera is set up, and there's a glowy bulb thing from the entrance to the fixed camera zone, and there are vines to the left, but it has an act exactly established in my mind that I can grab them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can grab almost anything that looks like it's covering a, a wall. Sure. Oh, because he gets... Okay. I feel like that might have been a bad decision. It was not a bad decision. It was a great decision. Okay. Uh, right. This. So you see, this area was freaky to me, only because of the endless abyss of darkness. That's all. Like, that's a lot of fucking darkness. <laughs> Wah! Ouch. All right, Nat, this place is cool. Oh, right, I forgot about these guys. And those things. And you made me. You made me drop it! You made me drop it! My little blue foo puddle puppy poo. You made me drop my poo poo puppy poo. And you made me drop it again. <laughs> All right. Donk. Okay, let's try this again. Oh crap! You know what? It's okay. He gives me like slight invincibility, and I got a whole ass full bar of health. I'm good. I should stay up here just in case. Yep. Okay. Cool. Worth it. I always thought of those things as like little caterpillar cats or something. Like they don't really pay attention to you, but if you touch them, they hurt you. Other than that, they're doing their own little thing. Alright, cool. Just asking, but you already tried Raymond 1? Yes. So when you say tried, yes. I tried Raymond 1. And, uh, I got, like, halfway through the game, I think. But, I mean, I when I say I was just flying through it, I was just flying through it. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. It, it doesn't have the same... I feel like I'm missing something here. Right. It's not the same, is my point. So I never finished it. Tried it? Yes. Try it on stream? No. Ah! This area scares me because of the dark. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like that's that's the only that's the only reason why that area was scary is because it's just the eternal darkness of abyss on on the bottom. Like they don't even show you any like ground or anything. They're literally just like, oh hey, by the way, do you want to like? die <laughs> you can mess up just once and all of a sudden you're down in the abyssal darkness and y you just fucking die like uh, that's freaky <clears throat> and raymond one is a legend too if you say it's a legend hey you know what i can stream it i can stream it one day too i i'm really not a fan of it i'm like i'm more a 3d person like 3d game person mostly i'll still play 2d but yeah if you say it's if you say it's a legend, I mean I can yeah I can play I can play it again. It's been a while since I played it too. I just remember like yeah it's a 2D, and so I'm like I'm just literally jumping everywhere and I'm like oh okay I think I, I think I already I think I almost beat it. And then eventually um yeah I I, I just kept going through until I was finally like all right I'm done. <laughs> I had my fill of Raymond one. Two, but it's hard to beat because it's easy to die. Yeah, we'll definitely admit it is. It is. It is definitely easy to die. And then you have to have the. If I. If I. If we're. If we're on the right. Same page about Raymond One. Um, they give you codes or whatever, so you can. So you can go back to the area that you died at. Had to use those codes so many fucking times. Like I don't need to remember this. 
Yes, you do. <laughs> you write it down and everything. Alright. Game over. Okie doke. Made it! I think Raymond 1 is more like nostalgic, but I always choose 2 for the best because of the 3D and dark and creepy sometimes. You know what? You said it perfectly. You said it so much better than I did. Yes. Yes. Raymond 1 is definitely exactly like you're saying. Raymond 1 is like the nostalgic part where you're like, man, I remember this. And yeah, like you're saying, it's like Raymond, Raymond 2 just has its own different feel to it. And Raymond 3, I'm just over here like, what's that? Whoa. Even Raymond Legends, so I've, I've heard Raymond Legends is really good too. I've watched people play it. I have not played it myself yet. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no 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 no! Oh, fuck! I saw it. Ah, damn it! Let's see if I can go back up on, on there. Whoa! What's up? Shit! Why am I just? I am just. Butterfingery Butterfingers tonight. Or Slippy Mc Slip Button? I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Grab blue orb. Fling it to the other side. And go whoosh. And let's throw it on a le pedestal. And have a big ol' uh messed up teeth man come out legends is fun I like trying to be good at dallies but Ubisoft shut down the servers thankfully there's a mod dallies da daily dailies oh da dallies wow my dailies <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> I always love this one piece it's like it's so small <laughs> you can barely swing uh, anyways Online servers, frame and letter, never heard about it. For dailies and weeklies, because they had leaderboards. That's interesting. I thought they had Raymond Legends that had dailies and stuff uh, on the phone? I thought? Yeah, on the phone they had that? I'm not sure about the console. I never played the console one. That's the one I watch people play. I never downloaded the Raymond Legends uh, on mobile. But the game kicks you out of the servers are down. That's just terrible. Like, <laughs> they're like, yeah, you gotta pay for all this stuff, because that's what Ubisoft does. At the same time, they're like, no servers. That almost sounded like Uncle Grandpa. Good morning. Good morning. Leaderboards. I see. Yeah, Artane is a speedrunner type of person. Artane is in it for for the scores. I'm in it for the story and partially the scores. I'm in it for the hundred percent if I give a crap about it. Like for instance, Sonic Riders. Sonic Riders, we are definitely going to try and hundred percent. I don't know if that's going to include buying all the gears or not, but hundred percent as in all the all the missions are about to be completed. So he's like, you're a found a second mask. Good job, Raven. You're getting closer to your goal. Just two more mass remains and I will awaken. And trust me, you're gonna love me when I'm awakened. I will be the ultimate power. I will be your nemesis. Be careful, the rest of your quest will be even harder. I will be the ultimate life form. <sighs> you're comparing yourself to me? Ha! <laughs> You're not even good enough to be my fake. I know where I missed it, where I missed the, the, the few cages. It was that upper level, and it was the lower level. It was even the, like there were like three parts. There were like three parts in there. In that in that le in that level, whatever. I know exactly where I missed them. Pretty sure I can let you test it out without you buying it through Steam Remote Play thing. You can let me test. I'm not. Really? <laughs> you can hear how confused I am. I'm like, 
Wait, really? Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, uh, that works too. Ow. <laughs> I just want my shoulder to get better. Eh. Okay. All right. Worth testing anyway. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to try. Testing is my favorite thing to do, besides actually getting a good game. Ah! Wow, that's funny. Alright, you know what? Just just give me like two seconds to get my gauntlet back. Gauntlet, gaunt, gauntlets back. Let's go get some gauntlets. Oh yeah, Weston, I'm sure you've played this enough times to know this. I, I'm, so I'm just gonna say, if you know how to do this, cool. I was gonna say that like, I don't know of many people who play Raymond 2. I just thought that this was cool that you can do this. No, I can't even fucking do it. There we go. You do that. You do that, and then you get power gauntlets. It's cool. <laughs> so now you don't have to like go through a level to try and find power gauntlets. You can just do that. Is this a bug? I have no idea what it is. I found it when I was younger, playing on original Dreamcast. I just know you can do that, and all of a sudden, bam, you have power gauntlets. That's all I know. <laughs> I don't know. I, d I really don't know. I cannot say it. <laughs> I, like, I just remember I was, like, upset one day because of the spider. I got so upset about the spider. So, like, usually when I get upset in a game, I'll... I I'll, I'll do stupid crap on it because I'm so upset and then eventually I'll just rage quit and not play the game for a while if at all ever and so for that time I was so mad because I kept dying from the spider I'm like why can't I get that freaking spider just I'm like spamming B at the at the portal and I'm like ah! and then finally gauntlets and I'm like wait what <laughs> I'm like let, let me do that let me do that again let me do that again <laughs> and sure enough I do it again and I'm like oh my god it gets you gauntlets <laughs> Uh, that's crazy. Crazy what happens. <sighs> I hate this guy. I hate this guy! <laughs> See, like that! You get angry and something good happens! <laughs> I hate this guy! Ah! <laughs> nice! <laughs> there you go. All right, so now we gotta get all four switches. <sighs> sure, let's go here first. Maybe just dev stuff left from testing. Shrug. Ubisoft is known because of the game is full of bugs. Raymond 2 is from Ubisoft. So it makes sense that glove bug. Exactly. But it is the best glove bug ever because you can imme almost immediately get, um, you can get power gaunt gauntlets whenever the freak you want to, which is awesome. I'll try on revolution when I get to those spots. Yeah, you're right. It, uh, uh, what was it, Artane? Yeah, if you can actually, if you can still get the gauntlets when it goes, when you when you play it on revolutions, it's either a bug they left in or something that they did on purpose. And we already know if if you can't do it, it's a patch. <laughs> did you mean by voice acting? Because I just said, "Free me, Raymond! Find the machine and destroy it." Come on, 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 come on. Oh, right, this. I'm like, why do I need this? Right, because I have to go up here and do it. And so here's the cool thing about this guy. You can't kill him, but you can... Or you can't kill him easily, but you can do this. And then he stands there, and you can use him as a stepping stool. Oh my god! No, I mean nearly full voice, for example. Oh, basically no mumbling, right? Cool. Yeah, and Arte, exactly. That, that's what I was thinking. Like, the vo actual voice acting. So instead of me having to say, Free me, Raymond! It's gonna be the, a woman saying, Free me, Raymond. Finally! I don't have to keep voice acting all these goddamn characters! <laughs> I get a break. So many games. Oh, I'm gonna get you! Ah, cool, awesome. Got you. Yeah, you and me are cool buds now. Virgil. Nurgle. 
Tom Burger on. All right. Man, AFV. That was a good ass. Not show. Yeah, show. That was a good ass show. Until I stopped caring about it. Wow. Insta, insta death. Nice. Alright, we got one more left to go. I feel like. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I thought I was gonna land into some poisonous substance. I was sorely mistaken. Or I was gladly mistaken. Alright, let's go over here. In Spanish, the final boss is called Barbaguda. Even the name is changed between languages. Wow. I mean, I think that's... And even that happens with us when we translate, like, Japanese stuff or anything. But I'm just thinking of, like, you know, like, animes or games or whatever. We Then we, then we translate it to where there's... They try and call it something like, you know, like... The, 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 the aggressive one in the snow or something. And we call them, like, I don't know, Metal Fist. Snowy Metal Fist. <laughs> so they're making it sound like, yeah, it's intense. And we're over here like, <laughs> you got a metal fist in your snowy, snowy metal fist. It works. <laughs> uh, am I missing? Uh, no, I'm not. Bam. I'm probably going to miss a few lums here. Because one, I don't care, and two, uh, you know, I don't care. And that one disappeared, so whatever. I probably got it. Alright, let's go. Zolo. <laughs> I think you can. No. I tried so hard. You saw me try. Oh, that's why, because it's... Yeah, give me, give, me, give me like two seconds. Come to save you, buddy. I'm coming to save you. There you go. Nice. Oh, I'm not hurt? Alright, well. Oh, there's another one. I guess it's flying around over there somewhere. Alright, here we go. There it is. Oh, right, I remember... I don't know if it's this area or the next area. But I remember this. Where you're supposed to, like... Oh, man. And you just keep on running. And all the... <laughs> all the all the little planks that you're walking on fall down. Man. I forgot all about that. Shit. Uh. Sure. I don't remember this. At all. <laughs> I don't remember this. Oh, this is the area I told you about. When I said um, we'll get to the we'll get to this other side later in the game. This is the area. Yes. I said we get there eventually, and here we are. Yeah. See, I knew what I was <laughs> doing. No! Oh, phew. Ooh, ooh, I thought I was gonna fall and die. All right, never mind. So just now the the plum was turning black, which means it was about to like I don't know decay or something, and then I was I you know I would have just fallen into the this murky water. Yep. But that did not happen. Okie doke. Shadow, nice. I totally knew this is where we were going. The fairy glades. Come on. You know what? Nope. Yep, alright, you know, I, I'll do that too. Go, Raymond! Save the world with your mighty energy! Energy powers. <laughs> ah! I regret that decision. Oh, 
Oops. Say what now? Huh. This area doesn't exist in PS1. They cut. Wait, really? They cut this off in PS1? Well, you know what? I guess I got the better half in the sense of, like, areas. <laughs> but they didn't. They didn't. Uh, what was it? But, we, but I still missed out on a whole entire game of uh, voice acting. <laughs> also, no, I'm not gonna say it. Oh my god, if you could just stop- thank you. My camera- I'm about to... Shit, I woke him up. Let me grab that. Boss! Of course you're not. <laughs> of course I'm not. So what was it? We got that area was cut off on PS1. Then uh, Princess Puka said that. What was it? Yeah, there's no linear area in in um, the Revolutions one. It's actually you actually have to go to all these places via a hub. And then there was another. There's something else that was taken out on Revolution. Oh, the Lums. The Lums in the Everglades, um, no, not Everglades, the Lums in the Cave of Bad Dreams aren't there either. Man, they cut out a lot of stuff. Oh! There we go. That was the best dodging I think I've ever done. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. My skills and janky controls still have not let me down. Believe... I know that, just keeping up some sort of combo- No, I know! I tell you, of course. You and I both, we're just saying shit to keep a conversation going. I- I completely understand. <laughs> Believe in me, the worst version of the PS1, but that voice you really need to see, but don't get disappointed of the design and all. Yeah, you know what? Here we go with this, um, with this Weston. I've played- the, the awesome version for so long I think I'm prepared to take to take a few losses on the design now and it, cause, not even now I was gonna say because even then it's actually gonna have to make me start rethinking how to play the game a little just a little bit because like the, I've played this as you can see I've played this one so many times I'm like I know where damn near everything is I don't even remember where I'm going or what I'm doing I just remember like this is- I almost want to say this is like muscle memory of playing this so many times. So now if I do it, um... Oh god. If I do it and its design has changed, I might actually have to... Yeah, learn- learn the new way. To play the goddamn game! Stop shooting my ass! Actually, I don't have one. Because <laughs> I have no limbs to connect myself. Or maybe I do. I don't have legs. Yeah, stop shooting my ass. There you go. <laughs> oh, crap. Alright, so we're about to go back. Alright, let's grab this. Let's go here. And bam! I got the checkpoint, nothing else matters. <laughs> I missed it. I'm getting that lum. I'm getting that freaking lump. Oh, it's him. I appreciate that the music <laughs> is still going. Alright. Is that a... 
that I can't fucking see. I don't think it is. Never mind. Uh, here, did you say lube? Hold on. I'm playing the version with hubs. Oh, hubs. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, alright, I'm playing the version with hubs and not a linear map. God, it's gonna be a pain. Okay, so far for all the scenes since I've started paying attention, there's been voice acting in Revolution. Ah, uh, sweet dog! They got voice acting in Revolution as well. So they actually have the person going like, Lee the fairy? Oh, hot diggity daggity. Did you think I said it? Yes, I did. <laughs> and now it says slaves on board 33,000 when before it was 27,000. But yes, I did. <laughs> it was hubs, not not loop. <laughs> so he's like, what is it? You're ferocity. He, he already has two masks. You idiotic fool! Ugh! Go get him and bring him back to me! Dead or alive! I never played the revolution, so it's really have. I guess it does, yeah. So then, yeah, if not the PS1 version, then we'll be playing Revolutions, because that is def- like, that was- that's the- eight, that's like the remake version. And let- oh, you fucking idiot. You absolute piece of garbage. Um, yeah, I haven't played that remake version of it. So interesting, though, that they decided to make it a hub. I guess because everyone enjoyed the games that have hubs. I don't know, I like the linear version. And I like hubs when there's when when there were already hubs like uh Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure was nice. Missed. Oh man, I miss I'm I'm missing one? Oh no, it's over there. Never mind. Hurry, or the pirates will win. They won't win, honey bye. I will just hit them on the fly. Fly? <laughs> Lee? Oh, I still don't know how to pronounce her name. Lee Lai. Lee Lai Lee Lai Lee Lee Lai Lee 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 Lai Even Razorbeard is scared of you. Jack and Daxter. Oh, right, yeah, Jack and Daxter, too. Yeah, that, too. Even then, Jack and Daxter had a nice hub thing where, like, it doesn't put you into any specific level. Like, like there's not an area, and it's like, oh, yeah, you're gonna go to, like, Whispering Hills, and then, you know, it has to load the level up. It literally just, it's like, it's almost like an open world hub, I'm gonna say. Yeah, it's all, that's at least what it looks like to me. It's like open world hub. You can just like go somewhere and then all of a sudden you're in that area as opposed to a hub where it's like you're in yeah like whispering wills hub and you got like five levels you can choose from. Oh my god! Makes me think of Spyro. Crashing Spyro. Load in real time. Yeah. Oh really? It did. Oh yeah, like that. Never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, it did load in real time. Forget my shock. Forget my shock. <laughs> it was my realization that was that, that was too lame. Uh. Okay. If it didn't load in time, it had a really smooth way of making the player wait by tripping them. Yeah. Oh wait. I was about to say, yeah, and then I was like, wait, did I ever trip? So, like, that might have been the thing that happened to me, and I didn't realize it was them just trying to make you load. I think that happened. Sneaky mother truckers. So if you went too fast, it was a hard face ground slap. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I think I had that happen, I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? And like you're saying, they, <laughs> they were just like, time for you to trip. Hey, if you hit these right, you can also just continuously jump on them without getting hurt. Which is totally helpful and effective if you suck at jumping at the right time. 
Just keep on running, keep on running, keep on running, running, running. What do we do? We run and scream. Ha 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 ha. Ah! Fuck you! Oh, I actually made it. I, if I'm not mis- if, like, at, right after it's here, I think we're gonna go into, like, an area that's in, like, a mountain. Yeah, we're, like, going into a mountain or something. I was gonna say, this is actually one of my favorite areas. Only because of, like, how it looks. <laughs> yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. I don't know, it looks, it looks really nice. It also kind of actually makes me think of Pokemon Snap. DID YOU KNOW THEY'RE COMING OUT WITH A POKEMON SNAP 2 FINALLY! I AM GOING TO PLAY IT! I'M STREAMING IT! I'M PLAYING IT! OH MY GOD, I'M SO HAPPY! IT'S BEEN SO MANY FUCKING YEARS SINCE THEY MADE A SECOND VERSION OF POKEMON SNAP! Ah! Anyways, but yeah, this reminds me of uh, Pokemon Snap, I think in the mountain region. I should stream Pokemon Snap, the first one. I should do it before anyone else does. While they're getting ready for, um, what was that? At least that's what I've noticed, is like, people will play the, the first game right before the second one comes out, and I'm like, boy, I should, I should do it before, before every, anyone even thinks to do that. Cause like, that was my shit! Okay, look, we got Raymond, my shit, we got Pokemon Snap, my shit, we got, oh my god, how could I forget such a beautiful, no, I know why I forgot about it. Because I was so angry, like we just, like, you just heard me. <laughs> I was so angry that, um, that they'd never made a second Pokemon Snap. It was, there's like, I don't know if there's like a talk of it, but like, people were talking about they want to have a second Snap, but like, Nintendo, I don't think ever said that they were going to. They're just like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> people are like, when's the Snap 2? You have new generation. Yeah, like three generations now, four generations now, five. It just kept going, and they're like, <laughs> they're like, ah, I mean, yeah, you asked for it long enough, I guess. I guess we came up with some ideas, and I missed that long. God fucking damn it. Well, I'm not. No, wait, I didn't miss it. All right. Yeah, they're like, all right, time for us to make a second one, I guess. Will you pre-order it? Yes. Will you buy it? Yes. Alright. And I'm like, oh god, yes. <laughs> Almost out of power gauntlets on the same freaking Ah, oh, level! No! Now I'm out of power gauntlets on the same freaking level. What's Pokemon Snap? You said you'll take the bait? What do you mean you'll take the bait? You mean, like, I'm just assuming you haven't heard of Pokemon Snap before? Wait, what do you have here? Oh, okay. Ouch. Oh, God. So... Sorry, I'm trying not to die. I mean, eh, maybe you'll get excited explaining or something. <laughs> I mean, what I just did, I think, is as... as, as, as oh, shit, I can't see. Um, is as excited as I'm gonna get about it. Because I'm like... Do I have to kill him? I think I have to kill him. Yeah, I have to kill him. Alright. You motherfucker. Uh, attack! Even Razor Beard is scared of you! Yeah, so Pokemon Snap is literally a, uh, a game about Pokemon and Snap. For, I guess, short for fucking Snapshot or, I don't know, picture- pretty much just picture-taking uh, Pokemon in different, um... I don't want to say in different levels. I want to say, like, different areas. Like, uh, or different, different elemental areas, I guess. So, like, there's, like, a factory, there's, um, there's a mountain, there's a volcano, there's a forest, and, like, because it was made such a long time ago, they only have first generation Pokemon in there. Um, but the point is, is, like, yeah, based off of the area, it would have the type of Pokemon that would be based off of that area. So, instance, they have Vile Plume in Forest. They have Metapod. There's a Secret Porygon in um, Forest. There's, I think, there's a Secret Porygon in every in every uh, level. And then you get to eventually get to like you know the ultimate legendary Pokemon. 
as an end. Yeah. Um. What was it? But yeah, then it was also cool because you had to like add, make do certain triggers to to get the more rare Pokemon or to get the Pokemon that you want to do something in particular, like look at the camera. So you could either give them food, you can hit them with a smoke bomb, you could play music, and like for instance, Bile Plume, I w would mostly only get up. Shit, would mostly only get up and dance, so you could take a picture if you had a flute. Um, and Kangaskhan just got really pissy at you, and then there's Scyther that's hidden in like a in grass, and you gotta hit a smoke bomb in the grass until finally you hit Scyther, and Scyther's like Scyther, and like starts flying away, like you bitch. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, the thing that made it so much fun was like it wasn't even really the taking a picture of the Pokemon that was great. It was the the fact of like it's as if you're actually interacting with. Pokemon inside their 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 designated areas. That's what made it so great. Um, yeah, and then you could ev you're even the one who like will will be able to um, I guess cause the Pokemon to show up at the camera, which you're li like you can you, you can make Moltres uh, and and Articuno and Zapdos. You can actually cause them to like hatch out of their eggs. So you're the one who's like bringing them into existence in a sense and I'm like it's the coolest fucking thing and it would just be cool to like have that again that that whole sense again oh here we go again uh it would be cool to have that sense again but like with more generations instead of just you know the the the, the first generation I hope that makes sense I hope that makes sense but yeah That's what makes it fun! And I already pre-ordered it! Ah! <laughs> yeah. Rhythm! Rhythm! Losing it! Rhythm! Losing it! I fogged up my glasses. <laughs> I thought you said I don't want to say intimate levels for the second there. Yeah, probably. Yo, and the finally you did it. I know it's almost. Woo! Oh, and I got power gauntlet. Nice. Oh, and uh, let's go. All right. But yeah, and the final. Man, like seriously, that was crazy though. You, I, like, I could barely see. I just. I just started looking up at the last second. I saw he was in front of me. I'm like, no! It was like, trip! I'm like, yes! Yeah! Alright, cool! <laughs> yes, exploding fingers. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And the thing is, is, like, it's not even going fast. It's keeping the consistency of hitting A, B, A, B, A, B. Because, like, you can't, you can't, like, spam A and you can't spam B. You literally have to, like, go A, B, A, B really fast. And you have to continuously do that without double tapping one of them <laughs> and then keeping the rhythm and then going fast. That's what makes it so fucking messed up. <laughs> Bam! Oh, wait, no, shit! Wrong button! Wrong button! Fuck you! F ah! <laughs> Go. I totally forgot about this. Oh my god! When I say I forgot about this! I forgot about this. Oh, <laughs> I remember this now. I remember playing this, and I was like, I was having the time of my fucking life. So my mom was the one who actually helped me, like, guide me through this game, cause she played it and beat it first, and then I started playing it. And so she would tell me how to get through this. I love doing spins on here. It was just so much fucking fun, spinning like just constantly. So much fun. And for her, she's like, oh my god, you're making me sick! And I was like, 
Here, here's where the Gen Z joke comes in. Haha, <laughs> Raymond go spin. <laughs> Cause like, I, could, I wouldn't stop spinning like that. I just keep fucking doing it. <laughs> like, whee! She's like, it makes me sick, you're spinning too much. <laughs> oh, it's so fun, man, I forgot about this. <laughs> yes. Oh god, this is giving me like so much joy back again. Like, I will spin however long I fucking want to. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh man, never mind. It was just, it was short. Oh, this! Yeah, warning intruder. Kerr! Catch him. So I only missed one lung, that's pretty good. Ha ha! Bitch! Missed! Heck yeah! Heck yeah! That's what it's like to be like me! I don't know who the fuck me is because this ain't Raymond's voice. I think there's something back here? No, there's not. Just my imagination. Nothing over there, I don't think. Ah, that's the camera. I forgot about that. Alright, took me a long ass time, but I remember it's the camera now. Okay, we got that boy. We got that sick boy. You could just aim. Thank you. Oh. Oh, right, because I have to. Okay. I have to bring the thingamajig over here, don't I? Ow! I was so upset, I... <laughs> ah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So what we gotta do is we gotta go over here. We gotta grab this, um... Did I get the third mask yet? No, I didn't. Um... I gotta grab this barrel, and then I gotta bring it over. God damn it. I forgot all about this. I think I have to go this way? And then you gotta wait for this to come back. And then you gotta be on here. And then you get to throw it at the door. It seriously had too little platforming and too much barrel egg in three. Really? Damn, there's more barreling than this? My god, I think this is, like, this is a... To me, this is, like, just the right amount of platforming and, and, and barrel sh walking shell things. Honestly. This is just the right amount. They give you your little puzzles, but then they just let you do your thing. Origins 2, if I recall. No, I mean, uh... Origins 2? Oh, dang. Okay. Alright, so he's gonna help me get out of the level. I just have to find that, like, one more cage, I guess. This guy gives no craps. <laughs> he gives no craps! He's jumping on thin air! Too much barreling everywhere, because I don't like barreling, and there's an egg in three. So there's an egg in three. Well, I am... actually not too excited about that part. Okay, let's get that, um... No. Look, he's right there! He's just like, yeah, if he captures me, he captures me. I don't really care. Can't see. Alright, hold on. Can't take a left. Move that away. No, that did not work. But can you? Do I have to... <sighs> I was hoping this day wouldn't come. Yeah. 
So I guess then what I'm going to do is probably get to Mask 3, because I think we're not at 3 yet. I'm going to get to Mask 3, and then we'll go back to the Globox Village and have a little fun there, because... Oh god. Because why not? Well, almost lost my power got once again. DMs, you're right, Ubisoft is broken. Oh no. I'm stuck on the big uh. What the friggity fraggity happened? <laughs> what is going on here? I love the. I love. Uh, wait, what the hell is the blue. What the. What, the, what is the blue lum? Is that the cages or something? I, abs I absolutely enjoy the. It, it looks like you're. <laughs> Being like just skyrocketing into the air. <laughs> yeah, it's Ubisoft and um, what was it? Ubisoft was like the creator of bugs, and then Bethesda was the one that decided to like run on bugs. Like Ubisoft was like, just get out the game, and if it's got a few bugs, then that's fine. Bethesda was like, that is a great idea, <laughs> fantastic. And then we have uh, what was it? I think it was Bungie, Bungie Games, I think? The ones who made Halo? They were like, no bugs allowed. Like, if you found a bug, it was because they purposely left it in there, or want, they like wanted you to find it. Like, I, at least I remember that with, what was it, Halo 2 or something? Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 4, one of those? They purposely made it so they were like, they, like they were not going to let the game um, out until they found as many freaking bugs as possible. I remember that. They like had it, they they even had it like on the news or something where like they have a designated team just to make sure that all the bugs are gone. I'm like, man, for a game to get that much attention just because they're trying to be so particular on the game. That's interesting. I missed two? I missed two. <clears throat> Certain bug, yes, but I don't know how it happened. Uh, that's why I call it bug soft. <laughs> that works too, bug soft. Yeah, I think here it is. Here's the one where you can fly around. You have like limited, unlimited flying. You can probably show the video. Uh, the video? Oh, I have the video. Oh, I love the video even even more. Okay, let's let's see if I can if I can do this. I'm not really I don't I don't have Discord on my um c a computer, so let's just see if I can do it like this. <laughs> you literally just like flew off into the fucking distant sunset. Beautiful. I have no idea what you did, Artane, but that was a that's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> well, but if that's happening, then I'm I'm almost guaranteed for sure that you're gonna get that um that gauntlet that gauntlet uh bug. Okay. Lee, Lee, la Lee, 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 Lou. Isn't she supposed to say something here? Supposed to be like, Remy. Or am I supposed to save her or something? Are you supposed to say something? Be like, you've done it, or you don't have enough, or what the fuck, or I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna leave her for now. She's gonna be in her weird hypothesis, this, 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 this medita me meditative state. She'll, she'll, she'll be happy there for a while. Lee is ghosting. Oh my god! <laughs> Lee, the original ghoster. This music. I legit can't move. I'm just rising constantly. I was swimming. You were swimming. How the hell did it go from swimming to that? First of all, and secondly, 
Must have jumped up into some weird geometry. You flew beyond the skybox. <laughs> so we have ghosting Raymond, and we have uh, asc ascending to heaven Raymond. Who need the helicopter with this book? <laughs> literally, screw the fucking helicopter part. But literally, I I remember her like I must. What's different? What's different? Here you can win life force and power, and you have enough lums to go there. All right. Wasn't there an area before here where she's supposed to say that to me or something? I said ghosting because she was like transparent. Yeah, exactly. She was transparent. That's what I thought. Like, do I have to save her a second time? I just realized does she have a fucking tail? Is she part like wolf? Is she a furry? Is she a fairy furry? Or is that just her like? Hair, like Bayonetta. Is that like her her hair? Just... Uh, I don't know, going through her spine or something? Come on! Can I see her butt crack? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm looking too hard. That's because I haven't, I haven't seen her stand in about 10, 15 years. <laughs> Raymond doesn't seem to change much since it's like 15 years ago, but for her, I'm like... She's more detailed than I remember. I seriously don't remember that tail. <laughs> Hair tail. I don't. I don't know. Pony tail. Butt tail. Pony butt tail. There you go. Pony. Po yeah. There you go. Pony butt tail. They can't catch me! I love now also that I'm older I can see the assets are like the, all the lily pads are the fucking same. They like change a little bit of the texture but all the lily pads are the same. Textures different sizes. Are there two suns? Yeah the texture is different the size is different but it's still the same lily pad. Woohoo! It's -a me! Mario! Yeah. You made it! Well done! I think you deserve a more powerful shot! Damn, I'm about to be so goddamn strong, I'm gonna throw this Nebuchadnezzar's face off. She a naked furry! <laughs> she is a Midna furry! <gasps> yeah, cause she's got like the same markings and shit. She just, instead of it being black and blue, she's... Human skin colored and purple? She's fairy colored. I have to say it at some point. You know exactly how butt tail sounds. I forgot to ask, but what console are you playing this Rayman to? Uh, d d not Discord. Dreamcast. Yes, Dreamcast. I can only imagine you. Oh God, I can only imagine that you that you're showing the the um that 32 inch thing. Uh, Artane. That's the only thing I can think of at the time. I'm trying so hard not to hiccup. Is that an eye in the barrel? Do you see that? Right now it's like an upside down eye and it's like looking like this. Oh wow, I'm so not paying attention because I'm looking at that eye in the fucking barrel right there. Like he's, he's standing on it. Like, it's like a fucking eye. It's like, I'm coming to kill you. I have a specific set of barrel-like skills. It looks like a fucking eye. I will find you. I will hunt you. And I will use you as my next barrel. Oh. Purple lum. A plum. This dude was always freaky and scary, and I always wondered why he was here and if there was something special about him, but I don't know. I never found out to this day. Ouch. If I shoot stuff at him, I'll get gauntlets. What do you think? Probably not. Nope. I tried. Ow. The original Dreamcast? I mean with the original CD2? Yeah, unfortunately- what? No? Oh, really? 
Because when you said the, um, the butt tail sounds like, that's all I could think of. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Weston, no. It's the, it's a, it's an emulator called Redream for the Dreamcast. My, my original Dream, I have the original CD for Raymond 2, but my original Dreamcast, uh, died. It lasted so fucking long, too. But yeah, this is just an emulator. Insta-death! Love it. Yeah, but I can't show anything like that on Twitch. Yeah, you're right. You're not technically showing it. You just have it in a link. But yeah, you're right. I mean, I, I would be able to... If I'm not mistaken, I'd be able to, like... Ban or something for it? Or I have to ban or something? I think I have to ban. Raymond and have Oh my fucking god. Where are you? I have original Dreamcast, but I don't have the original Rayman 2, just a fake copy, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. And it's interesting you say that, because, yeah, and that's what I was saying for, for me, like, I... <laughs> I'll take my CD, you take your Dreamcast, and we can actually play it on the original Dreamcast again. Because, <laughs> literally, that's the only reason why I stopped playing the original Dreamcast, is because it literally died. Like, we were just playing uh, Sonic Shuffle. It just died. It it, it just like it, there was no thing. It, it was just like it was there, and the light was on, and then the light just flickered off, and the the, the video stopped showing, and it would never turn on. It never turned on again. It finally said, uh, "Peace be with you." <laughs> Wait, wrong link. This one I can show. Ah, oh, there you go, yeah, that one. <clears throat> Deja vu. I guess I'm going the right way in my life to talk about goddamn fucking, uh, uh, tails and naked furries. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm happy. I like it. Like, regardless of that joke, I think it's still pretty cool where I'm at here, where I'm like, I can actually find people who, who actually enjoy these type of games. So I get to enjoy playing it. Other people get to enjoy, like, reminiscing about it and going, Oh man, I remember that yeah Shit. I remember that shit. Yeah, that game. It was awesome. Which reminds me, actually, I need to get myself onto the Harry Potter games. Cause like, I played the first three. I liked the first three. After that, it sounded like it, the game just went downhill cause I didn't play any ones after that. But like, mm, those first two in particular were fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. It might take a long time to beat them, I don't know. And I really want to play the Harry Potter CD, um, on the PC one. Like, Chamber of Secrets PC or something? Because for the love of God, I could not get past the tutorial. I couldn't get past the tutorial! Fuck you! Like, it wouldn't let me get past the tutorial no matter how many times I fucking tried. It's fun. See, you play that too! You say it's fun! See, I knew it! Have you beaten the have you beaten any of the um Harry Potter games, Wilson? So many people joining because of these two. I know, right? It's like we're going to the we're going to those good old games and everyone's like, Yeah, these good old games and I'm like See these people get it. <laughs> these people really get it. <laughs> Do they have to jump or something? Yeah. Oh yeah, because it gets burned up in the fire. Uh I played three. And the I hate two intro. Mo I that intro mob was so cool though. Like that person put a lot of work into making um to making that intro, the Harry Potter intro. That was awesome. Good on them for making that. Oh my god. Good on them for making that mini game with the rings. I remember the third one, that Griffin animal thingy with the ring. I know exactly what we're talking about. That Griffin thing. Yes, I loved the Griffin. I wasn't really too much of a fan of the mini game.
Okay, seems like I, after all these years, I still have an issue jumping onto that next flower. <laughs> flower, leaf, I don't know. Magical tail glider. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I'm... This is how difficult it was back then, too. This one fucking area. This one area in particular. One area. Okay, so I'm literally doing it too early and I'm doing it too late. I'm jumping too early and I'm n like literally not even jumping and then I just get thrown off the fucking uh, uh, thingamajig. Is that too? No, that was still too early. Like I'm trying to get off of it before it starts burning up. gonna start burning up. Nope. Way too fucking late. Too early. Yeah. Harry Potter, no. Just played a couple of Harry Potter games, but not beat one. I beat the first one. I almost beat the second one. The third one, I just played a little bit. I thought it was kind of fun, and then I was like, yeah, okay. Still too early. God fucking damn it. Okay, I might have to count, count this in my mind. Hold on. That's a focus. Yes! Yeah, I just had to focus. I just had to shut the fuck up for a second. <laughs> I actually might get hit. Nope. Max that one pretty early. Oh, really? Oh god! The controls just shifted for like a second. Left was right, right was left. If I get a game over already, I'm gonna throw people. Specifically, Lee the fairy. She'll land on her feet anyway. She's like part cat or something. Oh! I'm still here, bitch. Now what? Ouch. Worth it. <laughs> Run. I gotta wait for the little thing to dig up on top. That grab on platform. <laughs> oh, it wasn't luck. Oh, come on. I'm using my speed running skill. Come on, what are you talking about? It wasn't fucking luck. Come on. <laughs> okay, I gotta wait for the platform again. Oh shit! The fucking uh uh uh, uh the thing in the thing image. Gotcha. Worth it. <laughs> He's like, who what? <laughs> who dares open that door? Come after your ass. Hey garbage. Ouch. <laughs> Ow! Oh god, that was awesome. If you could just run through the actual fucking door. Thank you. Is there one I'm missing over here? Yeah, sure. Whatever. I'm just gonna let that go. I can't. See shit. Oh no, there it is. Run! Oh! How do I get through that? If I'm not mistaken, what actually happens there is you're supposed to like that thing where um where the pirate hits you with the hook and you like evaporate and you come back somewhere else. I thought that's what happens when you get hit by that wall. But no, just like well, just like a uh, hat in time, I'm starting to like phase through and shift through things that I shouldn't be able to phase and shift through or clip through 
I can get through here is if I oh yeah here. I love that. That was so that was so smart. Like you can't you can't get him to home in on the on the cage. So hit the little platform galaxy thing and it'll break open the box. That was a smart idea. Bugs off with some I know right? That never fucking happened. Like it always makes me disappear. But of course, for some reason lately lately I'm summoning the pa the, the the superpowers of of the of the unnatural over here with with uh, bug soft and whatever the whoever the heck made a hat in time <laughs> okay yeah here's the I think here's where the um, beneath the sanctuary of rock and lava I think here's where you get the ability to fly welcome to the council chamber of the team siege Splendid! You've got enough lumens to pass through. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! Prepare yourself to discover a whole new world. A whole new world. A fabulous place I've never been. This high pitched singing will kill me too. I'll stop singing this way. You're like, are you sure about this? Come on, don't be shy. I don't know about you. Be the boop boop. Alright, so now it's gonna open, and I think Lee's gonna go, Raymond, I have something special for you. You can actually fly now. And he's gonna be like, woohoo! Here he goes. You're like, whoa! <laughs> Can't do that! I guess I'm screwed for life. Game over. Mm hmm. You know, if I could just... If I just use my parkour skills, I know I could get up there. <laughs> yep, here she comes. You're like, oh, what up? Rayman, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Bad news. Start with the good news. I've gathered enough energy to give you another power. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to be with anyone else for the rest of your life. Sorry, I hope you love solitude. A new power! Yay! Mama! Yippee! Now you can fly with your helicopter. The bad news is that your mission gets harder. See, she's Midna. So here's some advice. Use your helicopter power to fly. Just activate this and move around and it'll be much easier. <laughs> and she like goes back into your shadow and disappears. Well, actually, because she's a fairy, she probably just gets absorbed into his like stomach or whatever, wherever the heck his energy comes from. If you could just... Thank you. Okay, here we go! Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Funniest thing I remember when I saw this a long time ago, I didn't think that was lava. I thought that was like pepperoni pizza. Like really, really burnt pepperoni pizza. And I was like, why is it that Raymond is scared of touching <laughs> melted pepperoni pizza? <laughs> is it because he doesn't like it burnt? <laughs> ah, so stupid. <laughs> Melted, burnt pepperoni pizza. <laughs> oh, imagination. Pizza lava. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's so hot. It's just... It's like lava. <laughs> uh, it took me a long ass time to realize it was lava. I don't know what made me finally put it together, but I, I finally put it together. I'm like, is that lava? The funniest fucking thing. Things you think when you're a kid. It's, it's, it's fucking seriously. Like, why do you think pepperoni pizza? <laughs> and he's scared of pepperoni pizza. <laughs> ah, I love it. 
This is the th wonderful thing I love about this uh, endless flying thing, is you can literally just keep on going. You don't have to like try and get to another platform, well, you know, unless you do that. But you, you don't have to try to, to land on another platform. You can just keep fucking flying, get the checkpoint, and just continue. Well, let's just get rid of those little annoying bug gnat things, that's pretty cool. So good. You could just. I'd rather die. This music was really fucking awesome. Ooh. I will die again. I'm a valiant warrior for these goddamn lums. Got it. Like the Incredibles right here. He really seems to love power. That's why he made it inside a volcano. And I seem to be attracted to power. Ah! Get away from me! Alright, time to save a buddy. Got it. Can't see. Yeah, so here's another cool one. You can do the same thing to break that. I can just hit it right. Come on, baby. Nice. Would you be willing to try something? Um, sure. I might have been too far off, but yeah, still just let me know and I can still see about trying it. I'll be okay with that. Alright, let's do this! New. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. I mean... It require water. So... Yeah, be in a water area. I can do that. Yeah, let's beat the let's beat this next um, boss guy, and I can go to an area with water. I'm assuming the it's the second level I think it is where it's got like that whole like lake of water in the very beginning. Not the second level, it's the third level. I think it's the second level though. Yeah, we can do that, and then we can go to the Globox Village for like just a little bit. And then we'll call it uh, the end of a stream. Oh! Don't do it! Don't do it! Beautiful. God fucking damn it. I love it. It's like, attack! Even Razorbeard is scared of you. Boy, I can't attack none of this. I gotta dodge, evade, all that crap. Alright, come on. Come on. Hit it! Hit it! Yes! Ouch. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Beautiful. Come to Papa. Come to Raymond, my pretties. Nope. Uh, don't don't go the wrong way. All right, cool. And I just sucked a hamster. All right. Let's try that again. No, mm -mm. no, sorry. Worth it. Fuck it. <laughs> okay. Okie doke. 
So I'm assuming also the water thing, because you're not being very specific on it, is um, you want me to try to do that, that, that bug jump thing? The endless ascension to Raymond Heaven? Nope. Nope. Air swimming, not the thing I did. Air swimming. Alrighty. Air swimming. The thing I didn't... I don't see any documentation on it. Oh, well... Yeah. <laughs> that means that you did the bug of a lifetime. Seems easy enough to me. Okay, here we go. Here's big golden Hercules over here. BAM! Ah! And with that... Ow, fucking shit. And with that... I can't fly anymore! This dude literally punched the ability right out of him. Fouch. What a name. I guess fire ouch. Raymond Run is going to burn you. I'm assuming that's what it means though. Fire ouch. Why else would he be called Fouch? Man, the blocks on this guy's fire is hilarious. I didn't know he had so many um, uh, fire animations for his arms. Ouch. Okay, here's what I remember. Yeah, we're like... You hit him once, and it, he still lives. I didn't know it was this guy, though. No stalactite? You hit him with one stalactite, and he still lives? He's so mad. He's like, you better not hit me with another one, or I'm about to burn you up so bad. All you can say is... Vouch! You'll be, uh, no, I'm not gonna go that far. Wow, okay, yeah, stop myself. STOP MYSELF! BAM! Dead. Give me them red limies. Nope. Got it. Yeah, so now we go in the middle. Seems easy enough, hence I asked. Oh, goddamn. Vouch is when a kid wants to say fuck after getting hit, but can't. <laughs> yeah, like, Fouch! I didn't mean to say anything. I really didn't. Yeah, I think this is the one that was, like, the creepier one to me, because it's like, I don't know, it looks like a burnt up, a burnt up old, uh, uh, uh Zora face with no lips. So this mask reminds me of. Other than that, I like the last one though, because it's, I don't know, it's just, it's like Golden Child mask. Congratulations, you found the third mask. Just one more mask and a miracle will come true. I will awaken. My eyes will be bigger. My eyelashes will be brighter. My face will smile more. And I'll eat the entire universe with one finger. Go quickly! It looks like a Goron who didn't get much <laughs> and didn't have his coffee, his his rock coffee. All right. All right. Yeah. So now we got like some other stuff to go. Oh yeah. If I'm not mistaken, the next one, the next area or their area after is gonna be the um Uglet and her babies. And oh my God, the jokes, the bad jokes I heard about that one. Cause she, she like Uglet cries and is like my babies or whatever. Oh yeah, it's, it was right here. I completely missed whatever her name is. Let's try this real quick. But I completely, yep, yeah, I'm well, not completely. The ugly one, she'll do a cry and be like, "There's something about my babies." Of course, I would always hear like, "My babies." My babies. Okay, here she is. She should be here. Here you can win life in force. You have enough. Let's go. So, uh, walk to a corner near water. Okay. After this. <laughs> yeah, walk to a corner near water. You can keep, um, you can, you can, um, write out the rest of what needs to happen, though. We'll, we'll work on that. Alrighty. Oof. Camera's messing me up. Okay, jump. Move over the corner. 
move over the corner and hold L. Make sure you are not holding the control stick when you land. If you did it right, Rainbow suddenly moved downward. During this downward movement, Rayman can pass through various things, including water planes. Oh, interesting. This will let you fall through the water plane and walk underwater. Now jump toward the plane, water plane, and start a helicopter. With good timing. Raymond's hair should be a few inches of the water when the helicopter starts. If you did it right, you will start air swimming. Which will give you endless, uh, endless, uh, abilities. But that means I guess then he won't die from, from lack of air? I guess? See if the last four lums are over here. I see two of them. So this looks promising. Two more. One more. Yep, we got them. All 50. Woohoo! Woo I, pr I, I I think it's hilarious that he says woohoo and the and the, <laughs> and the words say Yahoo. Well done! You're a hero. Chances and awesomeness, and I'm amazing. And yeah, we're good to go. Okay. Let's go get this one. <laughs> she's saying come on when instead she's saying bye bye. <laughs> come on, never come back, please, thank you. Okay, yeah, let's go to the first one. Or second, god damn it, I keep getting them messed up. Second. Alright. So then you go into a corner. Hold the shoulder. Oh my god, that was so fucking fast. Here I jump against the Oh my god, that was so fucking fast. Oh, so you, so, you, so you do actually start losing air. That was the fastest? The fastest? Why did Lai just arch backwards? That seems weird. If I'm mistaken, she uh, she's stretching. Like, after she just, like, they just did a run, so she's doing, like, a stretch of, like, ah. That was some good exercise or some shit. Oh, okay, so you have to, like... I hold the left shoulder button mid-air and move slower forward slightly to hit the edge. Move forward slightly to hit the edge. Nope. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Yes! Stretching! <laughs> yes! Jump out. The textures will look a little different from mine. Nope. Start holding only midair. But I see they do this little skip though, so they at least do it to get here. Yeah, and then you jump and you hold. I, need to... I love how, like, literally they're just swimming all the way to the other side. <laughs> yes, they like. If it doesn't work in a few tries, don't bother. Yeah, I don't mind trying this. If you, like you just said, I don't mind trying to, try, trying to get it a few tries. You got this. Whoops. Hold on. God damn it! That might have actually worked if I didn't make if he didn't grab the ledge. Ah. Uh. I'll try it like two more times, and if not, then yeah, we'll just go to the um, glow box mini games. Okay. 
Nope. Let me read it. Well, let me watch it again. I do love how, like, they get to the end in, like, 34 fucking seconds. You gotta go right on that fucking shoulder. Nope. It seems like I'm like getting the uh, the idea right of getting to the shoulder and then immediately holding the L shoulder the L thing, but actually getting it done. Jump. Oh, you have to be like right there too. Okay, hold on. Nope. I'll try one more time. I'm trying to like match their shadow the same exact way. And you just kinda. Fuck. I think I almost had it though. If I had probably pushed a little bit forward, more forward, I would have gotten it. I'm waiting until I drop into the water. The moment I drop into the water, I'm done. Ah! Tried. Alright, okay, tried. <laughs> but it still is cool, though. Especially because they, like, fly right to the, um, or, not fly, I'm sorry. They swim. <laughs> they swim right into the next area. That's absolutely awesome. And 34. That is an awesome speed speed running um, speed running strategy for sure. Well, I can't get it to work either. Yeah, it looks like you have to get it just right, just precise. So it might be a PC exclusive also. Ash, because of that. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like I said, that is still a cool a cool speed running strat for sure. Not even gonna lie. And 34 in 34 seconds. Jesus Christ. And you don't, um, and you don't, um, die from, from, um, drowning. So that's cool. Alright. So yeah, as, uh, as we were doing this in the first stream, I had mentioned that if you go onto a purple, if you, crap. If you activate the purple lum that's that's coming up, you'll go to the Goldox Village. And at the time, I had I had literally no pyramids, so it would or those little those little pyramid crystal things that he that Raymond keeps going, yeah, mama. Like <laughs> we had none of those, so it would have been the, the the village would have been pretty freaking empty. At this point, I think I have most of them. I'm I might be missing maybe one or two. So the village is actually going to be really pretty full now. And, and actually a little bit fun as opposed to just being there and like, alright, now what? <laughs> yeah, so you go on the purple alum, you go over here. And then... Ow. Ow. Then you get here. Which I'm assuming is just all Globox and Uglet's babies. I mean, I could be so fucking wrong, I don't know, but like, I don't know, just like all these fucking things. You can go towards them and they start talking to you. Are you gonna have a break before returning to fight the pirates? Yeah, and right now they're, they're, they're trying to get you to come over. They get all happy. Then they'll run away and they'll just <laughs> continue to ask you to come over. I tried to get over there. I, took, I, I tried so hard to get over there. Don't think I ever did it. I did it. And then one time I think I got near over there, but then it has like a, a collision wall, so it stopped you. But yeah, as you see, it's it's literally like just the more the more of those pyramids you get, the more glow box baby glow boxes you get, the more full this this area gets. I think you even get more like little cute animations, like more butterflies, more fish, more blah blah blah. And then I, if I'm not mistaken, if you get like the last. Yeah, if you get if you get, like the last one or or if you beat the mini games or something, you get like these really crazy wacky uh, baby glow boxes. Like uh, you get a smart one, you get a like a 
crazy insane one, you get like a super girly one. They go all fucking crazy. But yeah, so right now we have two mini-games. The Weblums, which we're about to do now, and something else, I forgot its name. But yeah. It's literally a mini-game of how fast can you go, how fast can you do this. And let me tell you! Here's where I tried doing speed speed running shit, because like, I was always trying to beat my record. If I'm not mistaken, I got to like, 8 seconds or something. Like, if you do this just right, you can just literally grab everything in one go. And as you see, I'm about to lose. Yeah, I don't know if 8 seconds is good or not. I don't remember it. I just know it was a lot of fun to be able to just... I don't remember how the hell I did it before. Like, you do it right, you're fucking solid. I actually might be doing it right now. Shit. Yeah, I think that was it. There you go. Yep. Alright, cool. That's how you do that. Alright, it's getting late for me, but it was really fun to be here. See you next time. Bye. Until next time. Two, four more bucks. <laughs> thank you very much, Wasim, for joining. It's like, thank you for the follow. Thank you for, for, for having this awesome conversation about Raymond, too. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Sleep well, and I will definitely see you. We will all see you next time. But yeah, so we got that one. We got this Pyralums area. So chill. <laughs> It's going to get super chill when we start the study streams next week. But yeah, so... I enjoy it too much! <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it. That makes me happy. If you're having fun, I'm having fun. But yes. And the last thing I'll talk about is the last minigame. There we go. See, already done. Well done. It's a new record. Cool. So we got the new record. We, oh yeah, I didn't get the new record for the for the weblums, but I don't care about that because I just wanted to show you. Oh yeah, there you go. Immediately, I got a new record. There you go. We got Brainiac over here. We got Super Super Girly. We got this. I I don't know. Seductive one. I don't fucking know. Octet. Just because my brain's eight times better than other brains or whatever. Like I don't know. She just seems like the a teacher or something. You know. Here's Crazy Boy. The one I was talking about before. He's Crazy Boy. Uh. Yeah, and then if you get a if you get a high record on this one, you'll get a whole nother set of these unique dudes. Now, the one last thing I do want to talk about is this area. Still not enough to open the portal. So this one, out of this whole entire uh, Raymond game, that's that's uh, first player. This one area, this one portal in particular, can be one or two players, like a multiplayer. No, actually, one to four players. It's multiplayer. But you have to beat almost beat the whole entire game for your for for you to even be able to play with other friends and stuff, which is fucking weird, but whatever. But the point is, is with you playing in this area in particular, it's some sort of they they go I mean they go into it like they talk about how the Globoxes had some sort of issue with civilization back then or something, and one day this one baby Globox hits something which brings back up a part of this tower or some shit. And then you just literally go, it's like a huge maze and you have to get into the middle. And as each level happens, you get more monsters that are trying to eat the glow box. And you still have to try and get to the middle. You get like all these different like power-ups or whatever. It's fun if you're, you know, if you don't have any other game to play. And if, you know, you've, you've already like almost complete Rayman 2 as a whole. It's very fun if you have friends who enjoy playing with you. <laughs> uh... But yeah, that's as much as I can say about it. I just remember, I, I remember having hours of fun on it. And some friends liked it, some friends didn't. Because of course, like I said, my my my, my challenging or whatever streak where I, I just want to win. <laughs> it got bad. But it was still fun. But yeah, that's... We can we can play a little bit of that uh, once I get that last crystal, once we finish the main story. But that was just my little take on what this Glowbox Village is like. But with that being said, that is all for me for tonight. So, if you did like, then please like, follow, subscribe, based off of the platform you are watching off of. This has been Raymond 2. Uh, more than likely next time that we stream this, we will be able to finish it off. 
say we had a good run and focus on some other games. Tomorrow, I do still plan to play a game again. It could either be the continuation of Rayman 2, it could be Undertale. I'm really trying to just finish up games that I haven't finished yet. And those two seem to be the most fun for me at the moment. And that hair curve thing still looks right. Oh, this? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to give it that pizzazz. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, and like for some reason, it's like as it gets longer, it gets like bushier. It's the weirdest freaking thing, but uh, whatever. Um, and I, even I even noticed it's longer. Like when I when I first started getting this, it wasn't like this. It was like this short. And now it's this long. I'm like, damn! Ew, my hair is growing. But anyways, yeah. More than likely, we'll be doing Raymond 2 or Undertale tomorrow. Um, what was it? Wednesday. More than likely, it will be either can't finish like playing. If I didn't, if I didn't play Raymond to, like t tomorrow night, I'll do Undertale, vice versa, or I'll do Super Metroid because I do want to. I do still plan to play that. Uh, sun Saturday will be, of course, the continuation of so of the Sonic chronological order games. And next Wednesday will for surely be um, the start of studying streams because I'm already getting uh, in my college. I'm already getting the first week of of uh, assignments, which they're not saying we need to do yet. They're just like getting it ready. So I'm like, yeah, we're gonna be doing that. But yes, <laughs> Artane, thank you very much for staying as long you did uh, as you did. I highly appreciate it. I always enjoy having having you around, be, like just being able to like interact with, with with you in the in the games or whatever. My arm is definitely doing a lot better, so I will be able to be more in interactive, uh, for a while. Um, what was it? Well, soon. Thank you very much for the follow. Thank you very much for the interaction with Raymond too. I highly appreciate that you've that you've been here as long as you did as well. And thank you for ta explaining the um, what was it? The other Raymond two stuff that I didn't know about. It's night time for me. So, minute hair cosplay win. When it gets long enough. Bro, if it, if it gets long enough, when this corona pandemic thing calms down so I can actually get a good hair hair person to do my hair, uh, I could totally do it. I honestly didn't expect that from Raymond 2. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, for me, I'm like, I just wanted to play it. And so far, it did, it did, it did its thing, which is... Just having fun and enjoying it. But yes, it is nighttime for me. I plan to get ready for bed. If it is daytime for you, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If it is nighttime for you, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Thank you very much, and I will see you all. Let me get my little button here. I will see you all next time.